you are good and you are, you are great O king of glory there is no one like you there is no god but you you deserve the glory and the honor and the praise mighty are you are lord and our god you are here father god you are in this place in this place of glory you are in this place of king of glory for we worship you and we honor you we give you praise we glorify you because you are good and because you are mighty and because you are loving and because you are faithful We bless the name of the Lord who is worthy of praise. We glorify the Lord, mighty power. The Lord our ban. We welcome seven spirits of God. We welcome the warrior angels. We welcome the melting fire. We welcome the chariots of Israel. We welcome the chariots of the Lord. We welcome the Lord God of hosts in the mighty name of Jesus. Katabroshi Karabaria. Masi Katabrokosia. De Kasanda Rabade Kasayadu Sharadi. Rika Tabro Sharabaria. Masetali Karabaria. Riko Shikatabrokosia. Ma katadi kere babado shandele karabaria. Ride shikababa katabrokosia. Ma sakatadi kere babada. Zakatabrosi katadi keria. Ma sikete brokosha darabaria. Brikada babakushi de le babadea. Ma sikatadi kere boshi katada. Zakatabrokoshi katada. Life is life in Christ. The power of Christ power of Christ, the spirit of Christ, the love of Christ, in the name of Yeshua, here tonight, Rika Tabro, the resurrection power, Raka Syria, weapons of war, Zagadadia, armies of God, Shika Taraya, terror of God, Marul Shikaya, the sword of the spirit, we welcome the ascent of God, the weapons of war, the weapons of the Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus, we welcome the fire that melts us. In the name of Jesus, cry out to God and say, Here I am, Lord, for your purposes. Here I am, Lord, for your glory. Here I am, Lord, for your name. Rade Kashatabraya, Zagadagadi Kataboya. Secure the space for the working of the Lord. We secure the realm for the working of the Lord. In the mighty and glorious name. Of Jesus Christ, Son of the Living God, we bless the Lord, Father of praise. We bless the Lord who is worthy of praise. We bless the Lord who is worthy of praise. We bless the Lord who is worthy of praise. My God, my Father, I call upon the buckler, Rade Kashida, Zatarabadia. I call upon the sheep in the name of Jesus. I prepare for battle, Katabroshikari, Mzele Babara, Kibro Shadaria, Zagadagadagadika. Lika tabro de haya, marado kushika tabra da, rike tabro zadeya, masata deya, rike taradia, rada ravo sharavari, masata daria, makata di katabo shadadia, maradi kadi karababada, zandi li di 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 di, the path of righteousness, I shall find, the way rekata, the high of holiness, shikata, the high of holiness, come on everybody. Whatever I'm measuring, I'm measuring the elements of the presence of God. The elements, the presence of God. The high of holiness, warring angels, warring angels, the temper of the elders, the cloud of witnesses. Yes, the holy fire, the melting fire, the light of the Lord, the lamp of the Lord, the angel of the Lord, the angel of the Lord, the rod of the Lord. All these are the elements we engage tonight. We employ tonight, Lord God Almighty, you deploy them now. 
you appoint them for battle you appoint them for battle the elements the sword the sword of the lord the anger of the lord the fire of the lord the lamp of the lord the angel of the lord the name of the lord on my behalf lord on our behalf lord for our children for our destiny for our children for our ministries employ father god employ king of glory engage me god all that which of you the name of the lord the word of the lord the sword of the lord the sound of the lord the voice of the lord all the elements all the divine elements the elements of your divinity my and my father those elements now be deployed be set in for victory for victory for the battle is yours the battle is not ours the battle is yours king of glory the battle is yours even the remaining days of this year the barriers king of glory that the season and time the battle is of the lord my god father we turn the battle down my god and take over we surrender the battle of our lives the battles of our destinies the battles of our children the battles of nations unto you king of glory and you king of glory we call on your intervention we call on vision my god my father we declare an invasion invade of darkness invade the, co the local covenant invade international covenant and evil gather invade them lord let there be a divine vision to invade the powers of darkness scatter them scatter them in your wrath scatter them in your wrath scatter them in your wrath shatter the career zad the clear kebrosha daya massacre tadia rikata brosa massacre kebrosha dabra invade them in your wrath invade the forces invade the armies of hell scar the armies of hell terrify the armies of hell blind armies of hell we blind the armies of hell because tonight king of glory the battle to you the name of the lord is exalted might is lord great is the lord who is praise who is our praise zata de karaba rikaraba kosa masata de radi kateria makata daria zakate broshia maka the man of war the man of battle the lord god of might the Lord God Almighty, Kero Shadari, Masada Kadia, Rikata Brosia, Masele Kalabaria, Shika Tadiri. Come on, somebody. Can you now pronounce, or can I pronounce and declare the elements, the elements, the elements in the present side to be employed in this season on your behalf? The elements, that is the fire, that is the fire, the voice of the Lord, the sword of the Lord, the fire of the Lord the lord the armies of the lord the angel of the lord the road of the lord the road of the lord father god this is the night of the elements this is the night of the elements when the stars fighting their course when the elements are fighting i declare and decree the night of the elements the night element of his presence the elements of his presence the elements of his glory let the elements of your presence fight on my behalf fight on my behalf engage on my behalf. engage in the god engage in this earth realm i can declare and decree the atmosphere is conducive for miracles is conducive for is conducive for signs, miracles, and wonders. I shift the atmosphere. I remove the barriers. I take away blockages. I break every hindrances. I shut glass walls. I remove the walls right now. I break the glass ceilings. I declare that the enemies of the Lord shall be scattered, shall be destroyed, rendered powerless, and no more crushed and consumed. Let them burn fire and burn to ashes. They that vow to resist the purpose of God, they that vow to stand against the works of God, my Father and my God, let your angel now charge against against them charge against them charge against the armies of hell charge against the gathering of the wizards charge against the power of the sorcerers father and my god scatter their meeting confuse them blind their gathering and stop their going forward because you are the lord god almighty come lord jesus come come and reign O king of glory come king of glory i call up forth right now the element of the chariots of god the church of israel the chariots of fire the god who answers by fire shall be the god of our nation i call up all the elements of my god for the rescue of my son's daughters or must you all them from the powers of darkness and the control of the evil one break forth by god break their power break their pillars break their bones in the mighty name of jesus christ i call forth the arrow of the lord the arrow
arrow of the Lord and the voice of the, all the elements in the presence of God, the arrows, the sword, the word, the fire, the rod, Makata Brokoria, Zarabakoteria, Asikata Brokosia, Masakata Karia, Rikere Mamakata Brokoria, Jakata Brokosia, Masakata. Let's open our Bibles briefly as we continue to pray in the name of Jesus Christ, Son of the Living God. Radakata Brokoshikata, Masata Brokoshandara. Let's open the book of Jeremiah together because the Bible, the Lord is commanding us something tonight in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Son of the Living God. Are you ready to pray? Now, open your Bible to the book of Jeremiah, chapter chapter uh chapter 46 jeremiah chapter 46 and reading verse 13 and verse 14 let's have that scripture right now in the name of jesus christ son of the living god if you have it be ready be ready be ready tonight it's not a usual night it's a night of battle in the name of jesus christ son of the living god as that jeremiah chapter 46 I'm going to come from, from verse 1. Jeremiah chapter 46 and verse 1. If you're there, welcome. Uh, I'm just going to gonna wait just straightforward in engagement, in battle. Because we're doing that tonight. We're looking at spiritual warfare. Uh, look, let's read the scripture first from 1 to, 1 to 13 of Jeremiah 46. The word of the Lord, the word of the Lord that came to Jeremiah concerning... concerning the nations about Egypt concerning the army of Pharaoh Neko, king of Egypt which was by the, which was by the river Euphrates at Kakamesh and which Nebuchadnezzar king of Babylon defeated in the fourth defeated in the fourth year of Jehoram the son of Josiah king of Judah prepare buckler and shield look at that Prepare buckler and shield and advance for battle. Somebody say advance for battle. Somebody say advance for battle. Hear the command. Prepare buckler and shield and advance for battle. Someone say advance. Harness the horses, mount or horsemen. Take your stations with your helmet. Polish your spears. Put on your armors. Put on your armor. It's a command. Praise the Lord. It's a command. Put on your armors. In the name of Jesus. Put on your armors. And then in verse 13, he says, prepare yourself, yourself baggage. Sorry. Verse 13. The word of the Lord spoke to Jeremiah. Now the other one was about Egypt. This one is for Babylon. Jeremiah the prophet, Nebuchadnezzar king of Babylon, to strike the land of Egypt. Declare in Egypt and proclaim in Megiddo, proclaim, proclaim in Memphis and Tafanas, and say, Stand ready and be prepared, for the sword shall devour around you. Why are your mighty ones face down? They do not stand. He made many stumble and fall. Now, so it says this, please, let's return to verse 3. Prepare Bakla. Prepare Bakla. Someone said prepare Bakla. Prepare Bakla and advance for battle. Advance for battle. In the name of Jesus. Someone said advance for battle. Advance for battle. In the name of Jesus. Prepare Bakla and advance for battle. And that's what the Lord is saying us to do. In the name of Jesus. Prepare. Now, if you look at Jeremiah 51. Jeremiah 51, verse 27. Jeremiah 51, verse 7. Uh, Jeremiah 51, verse 27. St set up a standard on earth. Blow the trumpet among the nations. Prepare the nations for war against her. Summon against her the kingdoms. Ararat, Mini, Ashkenaz. Appoint a marshal against her. Bring up horses like blistering locusts. Prepare the nations for war against her. Who? Who is her? We're talking about 
uh, maybe you may not know what she's there talking about the daughter of Babylon the daughter of Babylon you know and in verse 1 if you look at Jeremiah chapter 1 to chapter 51 verse 1 he says behold I'll stir up the spirit of a destroyer against Babylon against the inhabitants of Lebanon mm -hmm. right? of Lebakai and I'll send to Babylon winnowers and they shall winnow her and they shall empty her land when they come against her from every side on the day of trouble. Now look at what God is sending. Destroyers against your enemies. He's sending winnowers and archers in the name of Jesus. And they are, spare not her young men devoted to destruction all her army. They shall fall down. For Israel and Judah have not been forsaken by their God, the Lord. Now look, that's verse 5. Verse 5 says, for Israel, look at verse 5, please. Look at Israel, verse 5. For Israel and Judah have not been forsaken by their God, the Lord God of hosts. But the land of the Chaldeans is full of guilt against the Holy One of Israel. Flee from the Midst. Flee from the midst of Babylon and let everyone save his life. Be not cut off in her punishment. For this is the time of the Lord's vengeance. This is the time of the Lord's vengeance. The repayment he is rendering her. So Babylon, the prince of Babylon, the power of Babylon, had ruled over Israel. And the Lord began to bring the he say, I'll bring the destroyer and the devourer in the name of Jesus. So, when it comes to verse 28, please let's go to verse 28 together. Jeremiah chapter 51, verse 28, in the name of Jesus Christ, Son of the God. Are we there? Prepare the nations for war against her. Prepare the nations for her for war against her, the king of the Medes, with their governors and deputies, and every land under the dominion. The land trembles and rivers in pain for the Lord's purposes, to make the land against Babylon, to make the land of Babylon a desolation without inhabitants. So, uh, maybe you, may, you are saying, Pastor James, what are, we, what are we going on tonight? It's warfare. It's warfare. And uh, if it's warfare, you need to prepare. In, in the consecration and cleansing night, the last three nights is warfare. Spiritual warfare. Strategic spiritual warfare. The battle for our destinies. The battle for our children. The battle for our destinies. The battle for the destinies of nations. You cannot exclude spiritual warfare in your prayer life. You cannot leave your spiritual life. You cannot exclude spiritual warfare in your Christian life. You're joking. It's about war. We are in a Worship TV. Please turn with me in the book of uh, Jeremiah. Uh, sorry, Revelation chapter 19. Let's go to Revelation chapter 19. Revelations chapter 19. Are you there? Okay. Let's go to, to the rider on the white horse in verse 11. Gem, uh, Revelations chapter, uh, chapter 19 and verse 11. Then I saw heaven open. Then I saw heaven opened, and behold, a white horse. The one sitting on it is called faithful and true. In righteousness, he judges and makes wars. In righteousness, 
he judges and makes wars. Friends, the last days of this cleansing, the Lord put it upon me to raise you to spiritual warfare. To raise you to the moment of battle. To ascend in the realm of the spirit to battle. You know many Christians today are not aware of spiritual wars and battles going on around their lives. They just imagine maybe I just had a bad day. I just feel drained. But if the Lord open your eyes and see the intensity, the forces of darkness advancing, surrounding you, and also see the chariots of the Lord on your side, then you know you don't have time. You can't afford to live reckless and careless. You can't even rest. You can't even afford to be careless. You know, the reason that people ask Pastor James, why, have, why do you have to do all this we're doing every day and night in prayer, turning the presence of the Lord? Because I'm aware of the war going on. I see the battles. I see the forces, the hordes of darkness. Thousands thousands of fallen angels. Thousands thousands of demons advancing against God's people. And I have to stand there. Because as a child of God, I war in the commanding position. I war in the I'm not a, I don't fight. I command. I command wars. I command battles. I lead the battle because on the earth realm, I am an authority. As you are an authority because you are a son of God. So on the earth realm, you command, bat you command battles. Before I came to Christ, I commanded, I led many battles in the kingdom of darkness. Commanding thousand, thousand demons, witches and wizards and warlocks to attack churches, to attack cities, to attack organizations. And we could go in groups, not one, in thousands. Witches move in thousands. The smallest group is always 5,000. 5,000 demons, 5,000 witches, 5,000 warlocks. And they all can do a concentrated attack on one front, on one man. Bombarding everything that concerns life. His marriage, his children, his finances, his health, everything under attack. And the enemy knows if he can overwhelm you in an attack, you don't have the strength, you don't have the covering, you don't have the knowledge, you're not prepared for that battle. You remember recently in October, 7th October, when the armies the, all in one night attacked Israel and thousands were killed and kidnapped. Now, what you saw happen in Israel, the Lord told me, is what has happened to the church. The enemy waits the time when you are vulnerable, when you are weak, when you are put your guard down and attack you over women and overwhelm you. And the Lord said to me, warn the church that evil has been unleashed. That attack on Israel on the 7th of October, that attack, evil was unleashed on the face of the earth. Terror. Terror on Israel means terror on the church, means terror on the world. And the Lord was to, has been telling me to go deep in consecration and prepare the nations. What happened to Israel can happen to any nation. You are not safe. United States is not safe. Singapore, you are not safe. United Kingdom, you are not safe. That attack, like the 9-11, that sudden attack, a surprise attack. And I'm telling someone right now, the enemy secretly is planning a surprise attack on your life. So huge that you'll be overwhelmed. And you don't want to be caught off guard. You don't want to be caught off guard in the coming year. They are planning. You know, those men that did the 9-11 attack, all those that recently attacked Israel, took years preparing. Preparing to, act, to strike when Israel was not expecting. And when I saw that, and I said, God Almighty, how is the church prepared? Because exactly that's what the kingdom does. That's what to do. Take years and years in preparation. Thousands. Strategies. Spies. Intelligence. Gather weapons. And then bombard one ministry or one church or one family. Thousands. And hit on every side. You know, there is nothing like a single attack. Every attack on your life from the kingdom of darkness has been well planned, has been well positioned, 
well equipped and ready for a prolonged battle. Satan does not attack for just temporary. When he begins to attack, he has come with an intention to keep the battle until you are overwhelmed, until you are disarmed, until you are destroyed. He will not just relent. He has taken years preparing for you. He has taken years raised. Some children are born and raised to, to attack you. They are raised from different places, prepared for you, watching you, studying you. Now, there is nothing like a one-time attack. When you see one attack means all the fronts of your life, all the fronts of your family, all the fronts of your finances are under attack. They are just waiting. They are just eating within. And the enemy wants to kidnap and take your children as captives and take as hostages. There are many spiritual hostages right now. Your son is a hostage. Your daughter is a spiritual hostage in the tunnels of hell, in the tunnels of witchcraft, in the tunnels, and they are tormenting him. They are you, you imagine like these children that were, were taken, kidnapped and captured in Israel and taken in tunnels. And now they are raped, abused, and, and defiled there. Exactly that's what the, the enemy is doing. Attacks and take hostages. And then begin to demand ransoms. Exactly that's what you, happened to your family. You were attacked and your son was taken hostage. And he's in the tunnels of hell. Tormented every night. You cannot locate them. Until now, you mobilize. You mobilize an army in prayer. You mobilize the elements of God and go and attack and take back what the enemy has taken as hostage. It's not going to be dialogue, no peace talks. It's going to be war in the realm of the spirit tonight. It's going to be war in the next three nights in the mighty name of Jesus. We're going to go in the camp of the enemy. We're going to enter the tent of the enemy. We're going to go into, we're going to go into the, the tunnels of darkness. We're going to go into their storehouses. We're going to locate those that have been hostage for generations. We're going to lift them out. We're going to destroy the arsenal of the devil. We're going to pull down his towers. We're going to destroy the infrastructure of the enemy. The network and everything that the enemy has put in place to attack the church. In these last three nights, I want, I'm going to be leading an army of angels. I'm, I'm the army of saints, prayer warriors and saints all over the world. I want them to connect into these three nights of warfare. Nights of, nights of, of the elements. The advancing, I will not rest, I will not let my head down. Because I know it's now or never. In the name of Jesus Christ. Can you invite a friend? Can you share right now? If you're watching live, if you're on TV, wake up somebody and say, we're going to war in the, ne the next 72 hours. It's going to be war the next 72 hours. Nines to battle. Nines to battle. We're going to overwhelm the enemy. We're going to ambush him in the name of Jesus Christ. We're going to surprise him. He thought we're going to be in the festive celebrations. No, we are watchmen. We are watching nations. We are watching gates. We are watching territories. We are claiming territories. We are, we are dislodging principalities. We are bulldozing the terror of the enemy. We are removing them from our places. We are removing their infrastructures. We are bringing their network, their tower, their satellites, their weapons, their command posts, their homes. We, are, we root them out in the name of Jesus Christ. They shall be a plunder in the next three days in the name of Jesus Christ, Son of the living God. I am charged for war. I am charged for I put on my armor in the name of Jesus. I charge the buckle and the shield. I polish my spear. The flaming sword of the Lord. The elements of fire. The rod of the Lord. The thunder of God. In the name of Jesus. The warring angels are now positioned. The chariots of Israel are now positioned for battle. Someone say position for battle. And take the command post. They are waiting for you to make a sound. To blow a trumpet. And they charge. And you say charge against wickedness. O angels of God. Judge against sorcery, O chariots of God. O sword of the Lord, judge against warlocks that are now positioned in the mountains, positioned their towers, attack the churches. Judge against the evil eagles, judge against the old, judge against the vultures, judge against the crows in the name of Jesus Christ. The evil birds, let the angel of God cut them, kill them down in the name of Jesus Christ. I might talk to somebody right now. Somebody, are you ready for battle? Can you invite someone to join in. Because I believe there's an anointing when we are all alive. We are all alive. Can we join? Can we now come together, watch life? 4,000 of us. 
both out and of us watching live and pray both out and of the saints watching live and pray we want to call them in the name of jesus christ invite them share as much as possible like command i want you to engage don't just participate engage tonight you are we are now commanding and we are commanding we are advancing an army of the lord the army of the saints advancing against darkness dislodging the force of darkness dismantling them terrifying them breaking them never to rise again against our children and we are going to take hostage we're going to take back our children we're going to take back our daughters we're going to take back our ministries we're going to take back the sons of god have been captured and trapped in the pits of hell we're going to take them tonight in the name of, we serve and notice to the force of darkness we are coming and we are coming to overwhelm you because the thousands and thousands of the lord are gathered around us the angels of God. I believe right now everyone watching live on TV, on here, let behind you be a thousand angels, if not ten thousand angels. Let that be the army that is involved from midnight to 3 a.m. the next night. Give praise in the house of the Lord. I said give praise in the house of the Lord. Are you ready for battle? I'm going to give you strategies later, but let's clear the space. Let's clear the space right now. Let's clear the space. Let's take over the realm. Let's take a stand. Let's advance in power. Let's advance in wisdom. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Friends, stop that business. Pastor James, pray for me. No, stop that. Be here and let's engage together. There's no one to pray for you. There's no one to lay hands on you. There's no one to pray for you. Stop that business. Pray for me. Let's engage in battle right now. Let's engage in war together. Let's advance as an army. Stop that begging business. Begging the man of God. Stop that. You are not a weakling. Put on your strength and let's advance in battle. In the name of Jesus. I say stop that. Pray for me. Pray for me. Stop that. Put on your weapon. Put on your armor. Put on the armor. Dress up for battle. Prepare the people. Prepare the nation. In the name of Jesus Christ, Son of the living God. Are you ready? Your praise. Are you ready? We are praying. We are calling on the other warriors that are yet not yet here. The other warriors. Even if you are watching on TV, you can also be watching on, 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 on YouTube and other platforms. Because we want more, as many warriors as possible tonight. We want as many warriors as possible. In the name of Jesus. Pick your gadget, all your gadgets, and now set them on the sound. Let everyone in the house get ready for battle. It's battle in the name of Jesus. We are advanced from glory to glory. We are increasing in power. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Son of the living God. Yes. Make sure you are engaged. Stop that business. I'll call the man of God to pray for me. Stop that. It doesn't work. What will work is this. Joining together the saints in battle together for the destiny of your life. The destiny of the nation. For the destiny of your region. What God wants to use you for battle. Prepare for battle in the name of Jesus Christ, Son of the living God. Hear what Jeremiah said. Prepare for battle. He's making war. Now look at verse 12. Revelation 1, 12. His eyes. So Revelation 15, 19, 12. His eyes are like a flame of fire. That's an element. And his head are. And on his head are many dads. And he has a name. Written that no one knows. But himself. He's clothed in a robe. We are on Revelation 19, 13. He is clothed in a robe dipped in blood. And the name by which is called is the word of God. And the armies of heaven, the armies of heaven, are arrayed in fine linen, white and pure. We are following him on white horses. The armies of the armies. Mm -hmm. From his mouth comes a sharp sword with which to strike down the nations and to rule them with a rod of iron. He will treat the winepress of the fury of the wrath of God Almighty. On his robe and on his high thigh, he has a name written, King of Kings and Lord of Kings. You see that? And then I saw an angel standing on the sun. So I, I want to look at, this is the setup. This is the mind of heaven right now. It's battle. I believe the end time, the coming of the Lord, he will come amidst an intense spiritual battle in the Amagadu. 
when the nations gather against Israel, then the Lord will come. Meaning, we are being prepared. You know, let me tell you. The world stage, the enemy, they have already prepared everything for the Antichrist. The systems. The stage is set for Antichrist. The man of lawlessness. Mm. And it's not going to be that you think you have a headache. It's an, a, an overwhelming attack on your faith. Overwhelming attack on the Christian and on holiness and righteousness. The stage is set. You remember COVID was just dress rehearsal. Now the notes can be done. And what I'm talking about right now today is you cannot you need to ascend above the wicked and surprise them in prayer and ascend in the name of Jesus. Worship TV. I know the battle is going on, but we are not giving up. I, it's a battle, and you need to be ready to fight. You need to be ready to engage in battle in the name of Jesus. Engage in battle in the name of Jesus. Engage in the name of Jesus. He says, prepare for war. Prepare for battle. Prepare. And I'm telling everyone watching tonight, prepare for war. Prepare for battle. At any time, be ready for war. Be ready. 
Prepare the nations. Prepare the church. Prepare the intercessors. That's what I'm hearing the Lord telling me in the coming days. Prepare my people. Prepare them for war. Prepare them to meet me. Let them ascend. Let them ascend in the name of Jesus Christ. Let them ascend and be ready. The babies, the mothers, the fathers. I was telling you, friends, that to me, spiritual affair is as real as any other war. Because I could see as the enemy, as I used to lead armies, armies of hell, to charge against the city, to bombard a church, to bombard a mission, and the a prolonged, extended, intensive attack could go on and on time for a year non-stop. A year, thousands, all the courts of hell targeting one church, one person, and set aside sometime a year, 365 days of, of unceasing attack, bombardment, demonic bombard, and many believers, what they are so powerful, but because they have not been trained to persist and insist, they easily give up. They stop. They get diverted. They, they forsake. They forget that they are in battle. They accuse one another. They begin attacking one another. They begin scaring themselves, forgetting the enemy who is now scattering them. They, they hate each other. They begin to grumble. They get offended. Instead of gathering themselves, now, right now, I'm going to you as a fellowship, as a church. Why don't you sit and know you are under attack than accusing everyone, firing each other, hating each other, than disagree? Don't you know that you are under attack, church? I'm talking about pastor, listen to me and you. You are under attack. Those conflicts you see, it has been a planned attack to weaken you because you are called for revival. You are called for restoring the church to glory. And you are under attack as a marriage. Husband, wife, do you know you are under attack? Forget about what he has done and spoken to you. Forget about all your feelings. Forget about what the husband is doing. Forget about what you are supposed to do. Remember this. As a family, the call on your life. You are under a prolonged, intensive attack. And the enemy will not relent, will not withdraw, will not retreat until he has done what he has been sent to do. You just need to take a stand. Church, somebody watching right now. Your business is under attack, bombardment. All the things you see, forget about the little things. A high of war, a battle has been planned, a siege placed on you. In the air, on the water, on the land, under the water, all the, all the issues. So you need to engage and cope on the elements of the Lord, the, the Lord's presence. The elements of the Lord's presence. Like the chariots of God, the flames of fire, the stars, the warring angels, the rod of the Lord, the thunder of the Lord, the voice of the Lord, the angel of the Lord. All those are elements for the, in the armies of God. When the Lord begins to fight, he uses not just beings, but he uses also elements. He uses many things, his thunder, his rod. And I want to declare tonight in the next three days... All of them are now being released. All the elements of God have been released against the acts of the enemy, against the forces of darkness, against the armies of hell that have been advanced, against death and Hades that have been advancing, against the righteous, against the church, against children today. In the name of Jesus Christ, it's battle. Ascend in the name of Jesus. I, and I wanted to, to, I wanted to Bring as many people, bring as many employers, invite as many, recruit as many as possible in battle. Recruit the 10,000, the 20,000, share as much as possible because we want now. If one can chase a, a thousand, then two can chase 10,000. In the name of Jesus Christ, do not be deceived to leave the battlefield right now. This realm, now, this watch tonight is a battlefield. We are advancing against darkness. Yes, put on the warrior's boots. Put on the warrior's boots. Put on your armor. Put on the armor of light. 
put on the armor of light. Stand in the armor of God. Claim and stand in the armor of God. Put on the armor of light and put on your armor. There's the armor of light, the armor of the Lord, and your armor. Your armor is in your brokenness. Be, now put on your fire. Be dressed in fire. Kaprushada Gadia. Rika Sika Tabrokoshia. Masada Dekiria. Rika Tabrokoshia. Prepare for battle. Prepare for battle. There's going to be a great slaughter in the name of darkness tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ. Zata Dekaria. Roshi Katara. We will not hear end of your accidents. It will not happen. Masata de Karabari. Jakate de Kaya. Roshi Karababarika. Rakata de Kazika Babaria. Masata de Keria. Rikata Pro Sharababa. Riketa. You know, tongues are elements. Sata de Karia. Riko Shikara. They are tongues of fire. Kasele Katabra. Likataru Shada Dea. Lita Ladadoshi Tabrada. Masara Bababa. Makata de Keria. Riko Tabro Koshiria. Masele Bababa. Radeka Sirikara. Marado Shika Tabradea. Zika Tadi Katabro Zikataya. Makata de Keriba. May God arise. May God arise. May God arise. May God arise, Lord, in your anger. May God arise. May God arise. Shata de Keria. Rikra Mamadea. Confront them, Lord. Subdue them. Deliver people's souls in the name of Jesus Christ, Son of God. Rikada Mamakata, Riko Tararia, Zira Babara, Rikada Mamaria, Zandiri pray and say, May God arise, O Lord. Go to May God arise and his enemies be scattered. May enemies be scattered in the name of Jesus, Son of the Living God. Rande Katabro Koshikata, Masaraba Koshikara, Rikada Baba Baba, Zatararia, Jikata. Mantara de Katara dea, Rika Raba de Katara, Shika Tagata, Rik Shikata. Let's open our Bibles right now in the book of Psalms 68. Psalm 68. Shikatara de Akari, Sandara Baba Koshikatara. Mm. Mm. Psalm 68. Are you there? Okay. Psalm 68. God shall arise. His enemies scattered and those who hate him shall flee before him yes did that those who hate him shall flee before him as smoke is dry, so you shall drive them away as smoke is driven away so you shall drive them away as wax melts before fire so the weak shall perish before the Lord. The wicked shall perish for the Lord. Come on, pray. The wicked shall perish before the Lord. Declare that. The wicked shall perish before the Lord. Say it one more time. The wicked shall perish before the Lord. Radekashiria. Rakatabrosia. The wicked shall perish before the Lord. I declare in the name of Jesus. The wicked shall perish before the Lord. I declare in the name of Jesus. The wicked shall perish before the Lord. I declare in the name of Jesus. I declare and decree. The Lord reigns. Let the earth rejoice. Psalms 97. The Lord reigns. The Lord reigns. Let the earth rejoice. Let the many coastlands be glad. Clouds and thick darkness are all around him. Righteousness and justice are the foundations of his throne. Fire goes before him. And burns up all his adversaries all around. His lightnings light up the world. The earth sees and tremble. Psalms 97 verse 5. The mountains melt like wax before the Lord. Before the Lord of all the earth. Verse 6. Psalms 97 verse 6. The heavens proclaim his righteousness. And all the people see his glory. And verse 7. All worshippers of images are put to shame. Who make their boast in worthless idols worship him. All you gods. Zion hears and is glad, and the daughters of Judah rejoice because of your judgments, O Lord. For you, O Lord, are most high of over the earth. You are exalted above all the nations. You who love the Lord hate evil. He preserves the lives of his saints. He preserves the lives of his saints. He delivers them from the hand of the wicked. Light is sworn for the righteousness and joy for the upright in heart. Rejoice in the Lord 
O you righteous, and give thanks to his holy name. Give thanks to his holy name. Battle, get ready for battle. The next night there is no sleep. The next night there is no rest. Prepare for battle. The Lord is the captain. In the name of Jesus Christ, Son of the living God. Shikatararia. Masatara karabari. Riko shikatara. Masele badaya. Riko roshade kadia. Masara baba kuria. Broko shikataria. Masele karabara. Rika la mamadia. Zike tedididi. Jika tabrokosia. Masaladia. Randerididi. Rendereosia. Via tararara. Masele karabari. You know. Wakataraka. Let me show something here about the, the chariots of fire. Someone says, I'm going to be mentioning some of these elements. Someone says, chariots of fire. Say chariots of fire. Say it one time. Now, the moment you confess and proclaim that in the earth realm, you allow the element, that element, to be employed and released and deployed. And now, release for action. Action right now. So we're going to look at, look at the chariots of fire. There is a story in the book of 2 Kings chapter 6. When the king of Assyria was warring against Israel. Hallelujah. Okay. Uh, 2 Kings chapter 6 verse 8. The, once when the king of Syria was warring against Israel, he took counsel of his servants, saying, At such, such a place shall be my camp. But the man of God sent word to the king of Syria. Beware that you do not pass there. And so the story goes like that, like that. And uh, so in verse 13, in verse 12, and one of the servants of the, of the king said, None, my lord, king, but Elisha the prophet, who is in Israel, tells the king of Israel the word you speak in your bedroom. Ha <laughs> ha! Can you imagine? When the king is speaking in his bedroom, Elisha can hear the frequency, can hear what the king is saying. So the battle is at that realm, is at the realm of intelligence, Sp supernatural, divine intelligence. Supernatural, not spiritual intelligence, but divine intelligence. Oh my God. The ability to pick the frequency that are hidden in rooms, in caves, and money and follow those. So Elisha is operating in divine intelligence. Not, you know, people are talking about spiritual intelligence. But there is the divine intelligence. The God intelligence. That you need in battle right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Son of the living God. So, and say, so, look at verse 14. And he said, go and see where he is, that I may send and seize him. It was told him, behold, he is in Dothan. So, he sent these horses, their horses and chariots and a great army and they came by night and surrounded the city. They came and surrounded the city in the night. See how the enemy works? He comes in the night and surrounded the city. So you are surrounded while you're sleeping. So when the servant of the man of God rose early in the morning, verse uh, 15, and went out, behold, an army with horses and chariots was all around the city. And the servant said, Alas, my master, what shall we do? He said, Do not be afraid, for those who are with us are more than those who are with them. That's your word. Oh my God. Daniel, that's your word. Topod Robina, that's your word. Jeremiah, that's your word. Now, then look at this. Then Elisha, look at this, what he did. Then Elisha prayed. He prayed. The chariots were, they were present. But it required Elisha to remove the veil in prayer for them now to appear and engage. Hallelujah. They were, he knew they were there. But he had to pray. Pray off the veil. Remove the covering. 
that now they move from the invisible to become visible and terrify the enemies. So he prayed this prayer, which I'm praying for you, open his eyes that he may see. Open his eyes. You know, in battle, I've learned one of the weapons God has given us is sight. We fight with our eyes. You know, we ascend in dreams and ascend with sight. We see and ascend realms. And there's fire coming from our eyes. I don't, I'll never forget this sight. It happened to me 24 years ago, the day I gave my life to Jesus. It was a battle. I was fighting, I was ready to fight and attack this girl, make her mad or kill her. And I turned around to attack with my eyes. I looked into her eyes. And when I looked into her, flashes of lightning disarmed me from her eyes. She didn't have to say what I bind you, I command you. No. I look from her eyes was a sword. The same is happening. Makatado shate nikaya. Riketado shatara. Let your eyes be open and smite the powers of darkness with the sight, with the power from your eyes, not even from your words. In the name of Jesus. Your eyes are laser beams that penetrate through darkness, penetrate through walls, penetrate through realms, penetrate through glass ceilings, penetrate through, through powers of darkness, penetrate through the walls and the forts of darkness. By your sight, Katadu Shatide. I charge your eyes now. That sight still on is on me. That girl that trapped, captured men brought me to Jesus. The moment I looked in her eyes, the veil was removed, and her eyes pierced deep into my spirit, disarmed every power, broke every cord, destroyed every authority, disarmed every power I had, had harbored, and hit me. So hard that today I'm born again. Hit me so hard that today I serve her God. Are you getting what I'm talking about tonight? Saturday Karababa. So Elisha says, open the eyes. Let him war in with the eyes. Let him see realms. Let the eye become a weapon. In the mighty name of Jesus. Rikorobo shatadaka. Lise taproko shatadeka. Matadi kele bobo shatadia. Not with just words, but also sight. The power, the glory of God. As you look right now, the light of the Lord shall shine as an element from your eyes. They were attacking you through eyes. Now your eyes are open. Now your eyes are open. And see the unseen realm. And now begin to command. You take your command post. Take your command position. And as you declare, as you speak tongues, as you look, as you see, let God arise and his enemies scatter. Mountains melt like wax. Lord, reign in this realm. Lord, reign in this year. Lord, reign in the coming days. Reign in the next 70 years. Reign, King of glory. We take war for the next 70 years of the move of God. We take now, we remove barriers, we break yokes, we ask Lord now, let every saint walk in holiness and righteousness. We break the power of sin, we overcome the power of compromise, we root out the agents of darkness from our midst in the name of Jesus. We capture them for Christ. We capture them for God. We take our children that have been hosted, we break them, we bring them back, we restore them in the name of Yeshua Mashiach. Oh, shika da brukaya. Rikere baza de kete de kata. Satado shele babatia. Satade kata bro shara. Rakatada. My God, summon your armies on our behalf. Summon the armies of heaven. Summon them right now. We summon the prayer warriors, the intercessors, the prophetic watchmen, the prayer warriors all over the world that call on the name of the Lord. We summon them right now. The warriors in the spirit, the warriors as angels, the warriors as the elements. All that that war for God ascend right now, arise right now, be charged right now against the hordes of darkness, against the armies of hell. Break their ranks, we break 
their ranks. We break their ranks. We remove them from their place of authority. We break their towers. We break the siege. We remove them right now. We take back our children who have been hostages in the name of Jesus Christ. Katadi Kalababakosia. Masse I say every hostage of darkness, every hostage, every child that has been taken hostage right now, the angel of the Lord locate the pits and the hells and the tunnels of darkness. Open them up right now. Break the chains and lift the hostages. Let them come home. Let our daughters come home. Let our nations come home. We we'll break free. We we'll destroy the tormentor. We we'll shoot them down. We we'll shoot their powers. We we'll shoot their towers. We we'll dislodge them, overturn their authorities. Expose them from their hiding places, from their tunnels. Break them right now, Father God. In the name of angel of God, thunder. Katabro Shikeneva. Root them out, bulldoze them out of their hiding places, out of their pits and their holes and their tunnels. And their sh Am I praying with you right now? So he said this Open his eyes that he may see. Elijah is not, not going to fight, he just needs his servant to see, and the battle starts. Open his eyes and see. So the Lord opened the eyes of the young man and he saw and behold the mountain was full of horses and chariots of fire all around Elisha. Hey, the All around Elisha. The mountain was full of chariots of fire. Horses of fire. You remember the armies of the Syrian, they brought horses and chariots of a great army. And God brought horses and chariots, but this time, for the sight of God, there were horses made of fire. Their chariots made in fire. These ones, their chariots made in blood. The chariots made in wood. The chariots made in iron. The, horse, the horses of blood. The horses of the natural. And then, the armies of God were horses made out of fire. A fire that now formed horses and chariots. So when you could look at the mountain, El oh, oh, Matara, Elisha was surrounded by fire, but you could see angels, you could see chariots, you could see horses, but not human, or not horses of flesh, but horses of fire. So fire in the form of horses, or horses in the form of fire. It's what I'm seeing right now in the coming three nights. This night, the second night, the second night. They will look in the sky and see chariots flying over the nation. And they see the clouds that are forming like a chariot and forming like fire. And they will run. Some of you, when you look in the sky tonight and the coming night, you will see the clouds like a horses. And they are advancing towards the sun direction to go and dislodge witches and wizards and warlocks that have been in the second heaven. Rekatabro Sharadia. Zatade Kashi Katabroshia. Masala de Kiri Rikete. He saw his soul. He saw them. Look at the battle now. It's going, to, it's going to be interesting, the coming part of the scripture. Then, when the man of God prayed and the servant saw, look at that. And in verse 18, and when the Syrians came down against him, Elijah did not say, He did not go to get a sword. He said, Again, he prayed. <laughs> I love prayer. Elisha prayed to the Lord and said, Strike these people with blindness. <laughs> it's about sight. So the battle is of the, the, the visual, the visual realm. This side, the servant is seeing. The other side, the army is becoming blind. <laughs> it's about the visuals, the visual realm. Elisha is not doing anything. He's only engaging in prayer and is releasing weapons. He's saying, blind them. Blind them. Blind them. Father God, blind the witches, the wizards. Blind the tormentor. Blind, strike them with blindness. Strike the demons, the monitoring spirit, the familiar spirit, the warlocks, the wizards, the sorcerers. Before the end of this year, like in the days of Paul. When Elimas was resisting the gospel, the Elimas, the sorcerer, what did Paul engage in? He didn't shout at him. He said, Lord, make, let him not see. And Elimas was blind for many days. Are you going to talk about? 
There was that Elimas the sorcerer in the book of Acts who was resisting the gospel and he used this weapon of blindness. Blind them, Lord. Blind the torment of my children. Blind the spirit that has been like a guard on my daughter, guarding her in bondage. Blind it right now. Break its power. Destroy its control over my daughter, over my son in the name of Jesus. Katabro Sharababari. Blind them and open my eyes. He says, strike them with blindness. Strike them with... Bl Come on, pray. Pray. They that attack at the end of the year, strike them with blindness. They that are ambushing children of God, strike them with blindness. They that are turning against the church, the armies of hell that already were dispatched against that church, strike them with blindness, O oh God, I pray. Strike them with blindness, oh God. Can somebody pray with me now? Can somebody pray with me this hour? Strike them with blindness. Strike the armies of hell. The, the alliance of hell. The alliance of the kingdom of darkness. The forces of evil. Against marriages, against children, against churches, against ministries. Those that are sitting in high offices but sorcerers who are there to, to, have, to resist and oppose the work of God. Who are there to oppress the righteous. Lord God Almighty, this hour, this next 72 hours, blind them, strike them with blindness. Strike them right now. Break their powers. You know, I wouldn't have been saved if there were... The, the approach was men like men of you. Oh God, have mercy. No. This little girl just stood and the power hit. That's what it's, some high level witches and warlocks in your city shall be arrested in the coming three days. Shall come to the Lord. Satan's and devil worshippers who have tormented the city, who have trapped many souls, shall confess their sins and turn to the Lord in the coming three days. Receive the fire. And let God blind them. They that are projecting the air to come over your, your, your house, that are coming to, blood to, to, to monitor your house, shall not find their way back. They shall fall down. They shall fall down. They shall fall down. They shall fall down. Blind and bind them, my Father and God. Strike them with blindness. Strike the witches, the wizards, the warlocks, the enemies of God, the tormentors of Israel. Strike them with spiritual and physical blindness. Strike them right now, Father God. In the name of Jesus Christ, Son of the living God. Lift your voice and pray. Lift your voice and pray. Engage. Engage. You are standing at the command post. And ask the Lord. And say, Lord God Almighty, the torment of Israel, the tormenting spirit, the witches and the wizards, the wickedness, the wicked in my clan, strike them, Lord, until they say Jesus is Lord. Ascend against their powers. Strike them with the... Let your sword never rest until the powers of darkness are destroyed by the God. Let your sword never rest. Let your fire, let the holy fire of God, let O King of Glory, let the people, my Father, Father, ascend. Let your weapon against the rapists, the defiers, the robbers, the corrupt, they that are determined to destroy lives, the workers of injustice, the satanists, the altars of darkness, the powers that stop people to know the Lord. The speed of hatred, racism, smite it right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Katabro shikarabai. Rikere mamadaria. Katabro shikara. Do not be quiet. Do not be silent. Friends, it's war. Now we gotta into the hour of war. Speaking tongues. War in tongues. War in tongues. I'm preparing you. Every night, the next three nights. We shall not rest. Rikarabadia. Zatadikaya. Strike them with blindness. In the name of Jesus Christ. My Lord, my Father. The chariots of fire. The chariots of fire. In one minute, call the chariots of fire. The chariots of fire. The chariots of fire. Rikatabrushiria. Masakatadia. Rikatabrushiria. Masaradia. As you call the chariots of fire, your daughter shall be freed. As you call the chariots of fire, your son shall be freed. Zagata de Koshikaya. Call the chariots of fire. 
Call the chariots of fire. Call the chariots of fire. And my God and my Father. Rikarababa koshiri. Zakata de keria. Riko shikata dea. Masata de kete dea. Riketa bro sharadada. Hola de katada dea. Oh shikarabaria. Makata de dea. Rada da 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 da. Never to rise again. Never to rise again. They that attack Israel. They that are trapped in pits. In Abaddon. In Babylon. Katada dea. Let the sword of the Lord against Babylon, let the sword of the Lord against Pharaoh, the king of Egypt, in the name of Jesus Christ, the power of Egypt, the serpent of Egypt, the Leviathan, the snake in the Nile, the Leviathan, in the name of Jesus, Father God, smite them, strike them with blindness, strike them with blindness, strike them with blindness, the armies of hell, the armies of hell, the work of, the, of wickedness. They that Lord shed innocent blood in the nations of the world are said right now, stop the terror in the name of Jesus. Destroy the power of witchcraft. Destroy the power of sorcery. Destroy the altars and the high places. The national witchcraft. The territorial witchcraft. The regional witchcraft. Destroy its power. The towers. The continental tower of the witches. This meeting right now. Rikatabro Shiria. Masarada Kadia. Rikora Mamadia. Rakatada Kadia. Shikatabro Kosia. Masakatadia. Rikatadi Kadia. Rikora Bababaya. Makatadi Kadia. Rakatabro Kosia. Zakata Kadia. Riketabro Kosia. Masakatadia. Radikatadia. Rikatabro Kosia. Masadi Katadia. O Shikara Bababa. Yakata kata kara rikata brokoseria maseke teke ribaria rikota brodia masala dakatia roko shakatia riketa dikeria rakata brokoshe katia masala daya lo shada deke te di kara bara oshi kara baba baba oshi kata dikeria makasi ke te keria makasa kara daria they that have been trapped they that have been blind they that have been delayed my God and my Father let the terror let the terror of the Lord terrify. Terrify the hearts of the evil kings, King of Glory. Terrify them in their action. Break their hold. Break their hold. Break their hold. Break their hold over nations. Break their hold over children. Break their hold. Break their chains. Break their chains. Scatter them, King of Glory. Render them powerless. Render them powerless. Render them powerless. They that are sent. They that are are resisting oh god almighty they are resisting your work they have trapped our sons they have trapped our daughters i come against them right now the witches and their altars the covens and the cauldrons break their powers right now break their control right now break their control right now let them break and lose let them be blinded confuse them king of glory smite them oh god resist resist i resist the devil I resist the evil one. I resist the chariots of evil. In the name of Jesus Christ, my God, my Father, strike the devourer. Strike the devourer. Destroy the devourer. Radi katabrochia. Zakata didi. The horses, the chariots of Israel, Egypt, the chariots of Egypt, be destroyed right now. Makata de karabaria. Rikata brujara. Zagata Kadekeria, Rikara Mama de Keria, Rikata Broko Sakaria, Zagata de Keriburia, Marada Katabrukuria, Rikete Kerikare Karia, Shakata Broko Secretaria, Zagata Broko Shikatada, Masatada, not only chariots, my father, my God, may you judge the altars of darkness, may you judge the altars of hell, the altars of sorcery, judge their altars, break their cycles, undo their break their claims in the name of Jesus Christ son of the living God king of glory let the captives be freed let the nation be freed let our mountains be freed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ son of the living God I call upon the chariots of fire I call upon the rod of the Lord I call upon the angels of God I call upon the warring angels I call upon the stars to fight in their course as they fought against Caesar my God and my father let the waters fight dry the waters let the wind fight let the stars fight let the elements fight Fight. Let the sun smite. Let the moon smite. The enemies of God. They that have been taken out. They that have taken children hostage. They that have captured souls. They that are blinding people. They that are dragging them. I free right now. I free my son from um, from Pharmacia. I free my daughter from a controlling demon. I free her right now. I free our children. I free our sons. I free our daughters. I free our spouses. I free our cities from the control of the powers of darkness. From the control of the forces of hell. I free right now. 
now I free that woman, I free that man, I free that marriage from the control and the influence and the infiltrations and the power of the enemy. I break the violence of Satan. I end his violence. I break the spirit of riotism. I break the spirit of rebellion. I overcome them right now in the name of Jesus Christ, Son of the living God. Father God, we overcome. We overcome evil. We overcome the yokes of darkness. We overcome the corruption. We overcome the rapist. We overcome the succubus and the incubus. We overcome the control of Satan over the face of the earth. We release the sound of glory. We release the sound of the Lord. The voice of the Lord over the nations. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, the Lord thunder over the waters. We root out altars of darkness in the waters. We smite every high place in the second heaven. My God and my Father, we root out evil altars, overturn evil thrones. The gates of hate shall not prevail. We break the gates of hate. Destroy the gates of hate right now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, my Father, my God, my Father, my Father, the gates of hate be destroyed right now. The pillars of darkness, the towers of hell be destroyed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Son of the living God. My God and my Father, let the captives in those prisons be freed. Chains broken, foundations of devil, foundation of evil be broken and shaken right now. Let the earthquake of the Lord now be released into the realm of the spirit, into the nations and free the captives of darkness, the captives of drugs, the captives of sorcery, the captives of divination. Be freed right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, my King and my God. Today, my God, locate them. Let the angel of the Lord locate the hostages. Locate my son, locate my daughter, locate my, my partners, locate them where they are captured, locate them in bars, locate them in roaches, in brothels, and bring them back home in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Son of the living God. Clothe them in your fire, clothe them in your conviction, clothe them in your love, and draw them to yourself, my Father, my God. Draw them to yourself, O King of glory, they that are enemies of God, and the church of the evil, and blind them, smite them, scatter them, overwhelm them, destroy them, terrify them, break their powers, overcome them, Father God, terrify them, root them out, destroy them, Father God, destroy them, scatter them completely, never to turn again, because God Almighty is doing a mighty work in this season and time. You are you are causing the people to arise. You are causing the church to be strong, King of glory. Weapons of the war, the weapon of the Lord are in our hands now, right now. Weapons of righteousness and holiness. We are set in the heel of the Lord, my King and my God. We shall not fear the terror of the night. No evil, no plague shall come near us, Father God. For the arm of the Lord shall advance. We advance in power. We advance in wisdom. We advance in knowledge. With the sight of the Lord, we increase in power. We increase in stature. We are united. We are in love. We are in perfection. No sin in us. No evil in us. No unrighteousness but we are advancing in holiness and purity we stand in the way we stand in the name of the lord we follow the path of righteousness we do mightily we overcome we overtake evil we overcome evil we root it out of our destiny we root out of our children we root evil out of our cities we root evil out of our churches we root evil right now expose the agents of darkness and repent and which have fallen down every stubborn which be arrested in the mighty name of jesus christ son of the god let the angel of god arrest every witch and every shrine my God and my Father, remove them from the face of the earth. Destroy their high places. Locate them in the fires and scatter them further up where they are hiding right now. We release the captives. We release the captives. We say the captives, come out! In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Son of the living God. Rakata brokoshiria, masakata brokoria, rikata brozaya, zikete katabra, rakata brokoshiria, wikata brokoria, masada baria, rakata kataya, rakata kata, rikete brokoria, masade katabro, zagata kade, zagata brokosia, mazala botatea, litale katedikete, rikata da kataya, rikate katakaria, rikata karabaria, rikata brokoshikata, rikata brokoshiria, my kata didi, even the graves that are been like prisons be smitten right now and the captives of those graves the destiny of the marriages that are trapped in those graves come forth right now they are imprisoned in high places father god imprisoned in shrines captured and controlled and played by the powers of darkness let them be freed in the name of jesus christ let them be cleansed and freed cleansed and freed cleansed and freed radicatara cleansed and freed rikata brosia rakata kataya rikota brokoshara zakata diketea zikata brokoria radia dea 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 Sata brada de dia, masakata de karia, freedom lizzie, masata de kata, ricota brosiria, masakata dia, ricata da da da. I don't hear you. I don't hear you agree with me and say I agree with the man of God. I agree now. I see somebody come in and say the fire, come in the fire and say, I sign right now. I sign in the arm of God. I sign on this channel and I say from today, the chariots of heaven, the fire of God, and the elements of the prince of God shall be at 
my disposal. They shall be at work everywhere I go. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, my Father and my God, the armies of heaven, go ahead of me before I arrive. Clear the space, clear the realm, and Lord God Almighty, establish your work and your kingdom. Establish your purposes, Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, King of glory, Lord Almighty, this is a moment of charging now. The hour of victory, the hour of success, the hour of rescue, the hour of rescue, the hour of rescue. Lord, I rescue them from Satanism. I rescue them from radicalism. I rescue them from bitterness. I rescue them from terror and hatred. I rescue them from the controlling spirit, the power that controls them in terror, the power that controls them in bitterness. I rescue them right now. I break the work of the evil one. I scatter their powers. I remove them from their places. I overturn, Father God, overturn the thrones of darkness, the thrones of darkness, the throne of darkness. We divide for Satan. We break the codes. We remove the chains. We destroy the altars. In the name of Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, my King and my God, ascend, ascend, ascend. Somebody ascend, somebody ascend over the mountains, over the mountains, over the yokes, over the powers, over the armies of hell, and smite them, Father God. Smite them with terror. Smite them from your place of authority. Smite them from your place of authority. King of glory, root them out. Silence them, silence them. Kill the scorpions. We kill the lion, the serpents of the devil. We kill the them right now, every weapon of the enemy shall rust and be none, shall be nothing, shall be nothing, shall be nothing. Rikara Baba Koshiria, Masara Kadia, Rikata Brukoshiria, Masakata Kadia, Rikara Baba Koshiria, Rakata Kataria, Shikata Brukoria. Someone keep praying because the cleansing is happening right now. The witch woman, the sorceress, the sorceress in the area is now disarmed. The sorceress in the area has no throne. The sorceress in the city has no throne. The sorceress on the land, the God of Babylon and the king of Egypt have no power now. Have no power right now. The fire devour. The devouring fire. The devouring fire. The devouring fire. The consuming fire. Consume Baal. Consume the orders of Baal. Consume their powers. Burn them to ashes. The flame of fire. The flame of fire. The flame of the holy fire. The flame of the Lord. Rikora baba baba shakata dikaria mazala baba kota pradia esi kiti katara oshi kata broko zakaria mara de rukusiria rikota broko zia masaka tadikiria zagada brodia rada katiri shikata nakaria akata broko zia masete katari zekitara rakatara 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 rikata baba rikiri baba rakatadi rikiti dia rikiti dia rikatara don't stop talking. Don't stop talking. Don't fear that you talk a lot. Keep talking. Keep praying. Keep praying. Keep praying. Keep praying. Because you are setting in motion. You are setting in motion. The more you pray, the more you pray in tongues, the chariots advance. The chariots advance. Zatane kariya. Marado kotiriya. Rika tabrukosiya. Zakatane kariya. Masakata puriya. Rika tabrukoriya. Masakata diya. Rade katariya. Shakata brukosiya. Marade diya. Rika tabrushada diya. Zagata kati kita. Zagata kata kata. Rakata kata kata. Rika tabrukosiya. The Lord reigns. The Lord reigns. The Lord reigns. The Lord reigns. Zakata de Karia, Masakata dea, Rika da Brodia, Masakata dea, Rika Ramadia, Zakata dea, Radi Procasia, Masakata dea, Sikatekaria, Makata de Kiria, Shakata Brokuria, Sidi Baba Baba, O Shara de Didi, O Rikara Baba Baba, let the fire God upon that sister in Finland, upon that Baba in New York, my God, my father in Washington DC, let the fire. Come on that family in Washington DC. Kata de Karabaria. Read the Dididia. Radadadadadada. Ricotta Bruko Sharia. I pray for that family. I pray for that man right now in Johannesburg. To ascend in power. To ascend power. To ascend power. Radi Katadu Shiria. Rakata de Katia. Shekate de Kedibria. Makata de Ah. My God. Let your altar be established in Washington DC. Let your altar be established, Lord God of Mary, in Georgia, Atlanta. I pray right now. Your fire, King of Glory, to come in the Bahamas, Father God. I pray for the old fire of God, the fire of revival, the arm of God in Bahamas to rise right now. The armor of God in New York to rise right now. The armor of God in Toronto. The arm of God in, in 
Edmonton, the arm of the armor of God in Calgary, the arm of God in the United Kingdom, the arm of God in London, the arm of God in Manchester, the arm of God in Scotland, arise right now in Manchester in Wales, arise right now in New York, arise, arise right now in Oxford, you can glory. Let the arm of God arise in Uganda, let the arm of God arise, King of Glory, in the Caribbean, in Pretorian Cape Town, let the arm of God arise in Lagos, in Abuja, Father God, let the arm of God arise right now in Egypt, right now in Cairo, in Jerusalem, let the arm of God right now in the United Arab Emirates, Father God, let the armies of God arise wherever they are. I charge them, I charge them, Lord God Almighty, from Minnesota, Father God of God, I pray right now in Northern Carolina, I pray King of Glory in the arm of God in North Carolina, I pray the armor of God to go right now in Delaware, I pray the arm of God to arise, to arise, to arise in Boston, the arm of God arise, arise in Jamaica, arise in Kingston, the arm of God arise in Calibians, the arm of God arise, arise right now in Trinidad and Tobacco, I pray the arm of God arise, arise in North Africa, arise in Somalia, arise in Ghana, arise in Accra, arise Father God, let the arm of God arise, chant them right now, the prayer warriors, the watchmen on the gate, never to stop this uh, Zagata Brukonia, Rikere Babarada, Radika Sikara, Rakata Brukoshiria, Masata Nikara, Urkatabro, summon the armies of God in your nation, mention the nation you are in, mention Belgium, mention Finland, mention them, mention Belgium, mention Rwanda, mention Rwanda, and the arm of God to speak holiness, to stop the terror, to stop the wars, to stop the bloodshed, Katabrokonia, they that are gathering against the nation to bring it down, my father, my God. Resist them, resist the wicked, resist their plan, resist their plan of war, their plan of cause, resist the plan, resist the plan King of glory, resist the plan of the wicked, resist the plan King of glory. They, the Father God, resist the plan of the enemy and let your will be done and let your purpose be established. King of glory, Lord Almighty, show yourself mighty. Rada Katia Brokuria, Rikere Babashia, Massa Katalia. Mention your name. Mention Zimbabwe, the arm of the Lord in Zimbabwe, the arm of the Lord in Malawi. Mention right now, and the Father God, let your arm arise in my Father's house, the arm of the Lord. Katabro Shikaraba, Maseli Babaraya, Riko Tabro Syria. Mention Malawi, mention in Swantini, mention right now, mention that army in Kenya to arise, in South Africa, in Botswana, in Zambia, in the Philippines. Let the arm of God arise in Tanzania, in Ramia, the arm of the Lord in Namibia. The arm of the Lord arise the, in Netherlands, in Scotland, in Trinidad, in Suriname. My Father, my God, in New Zealand, in Kenya, in Canada. Mention the cities. My God, my Father, we child those cities in Malaysia, in Kuala Lumpur, in my God, in Singapore, in Thailand, in, Mal- in Madagascar. We, O oh God Almighty, Indonesia, we pray for Australia. The arm of the Lord in Australia. The arm of the Lord in Russia. The arm of the Lord in glory in Moscow. The arm of the Lord in China, the arm of the Lord in Taiwan, the arm of the Lord in Taiwan, the arm of the Lord in Hong Kong, the arm of the Lord King of Glory, Katabro Shiria, Chai the armies of the Lord, Chai the army of the Lord, Rikarababa, the four thousand of us, Chai us Lord God Almighty, as tons of fire, Rikatabro Koshiria, the four thousand watching, Makatabro Korea, the five thousand joining, Katabro Koshiria, the arm of God in my father's house, the arm of God in my house, the Makata, sons of fire, sons of fire, sons of thunder, Keta Brukoria, pray for the nation. Winpeg, uh, Vietnam, the arm of the Lord in Cameroon, in Uganda, the arm of the Lord in Brazil, the arm of the Lord in Kurahoma, the arm of the Lord arise in M- Babston, the arm of the Lord arise, the arm of the Lord arise in Africa. My God, my Father, somebody mentioned the city and say the arm of the Lord, wake them up in Windhoek, wake them up in Malaysia, wake them up, the warriors that were tired, the warriors that were tired in Brazil, in South Africa, in Colombia, in Argentina, in Los Angeles, in Atlanta. Atlanta, do it right now. Wake them up in London. The warriors that were tired, that have been defeated, strengthen them in prayer. Strengthen the warriors. Strengthen the warriors. The prayer warriors. The intercessors in Bahamas. The intercessors in Tanzania. The prayer warriors. Mention the city. Mention the city. West London, Oklahoma. Mention them in Indiana. Mention them. Mention Miami. Mention them. Mention them. Mention them. Katabrodia. 
Brenda did it, Masarabaria, Rada Rabara, Shekatabra, Rekatabro, my God, my father, in Tungamo, we raised that army in Kampala, in Kampala, in Nairobi, we raised the army, we raised the army, we raised the army in Congo, in the Kuma, Rada Radia, Shekatabro, Rada Katara, Shekatabro, keep praying, keep praying. I don't hear you, saints, I don't hear you. Mention the city. Mention the city. Connect us with mission before the Lord. Where are you praying from? Let the armies of the Lord in that city ascend. Let the arm of the Lord in that city where you are. Because you can't do it alone. You need many of the saints. Now pray that they join you. Pray that they pick your son. Pray that they pick your son in the realm of the spirit. And now join the army for his soul. Pray that the fire of God will pick up your daughter, will pick up your spouse, will pick up now the church, the pastors, and all of them will be convicted, will be willing to be in agreement and pray. Pick that city to be a city of revival. Mark the city. I hear you. Mark the city. You know, you can't pray where you've not marked it. Mark the city. Say, I mark my children for revival. I mark the home with fire. I mark Kampala with fire. I mark London with fire. I mark Manchester with fire. I mark Singapore with fire. I mark Dubai with fire. I mark the city. I mark my house with holy fire. Now, in spiritual faith, you must mark. You must do a spiritual mark. Not map, but mark. And say, right now, I mark my city for revival. I mark my child with the fire of deliverance. I mark my home with the holy fire of God. I mark my ministry. I mark the church. I mark the church with the fire of God. I mark my husband with the fire of God. I put a marker of fire of God on my soul, on my son, on my spouse, on my finances, on my car, on my nation, on the church. I mark Kampala for revival. I mark the gates of Kampala. I mark the gates of Uganda. I mark the gates of Nairobi. I mark the gates of Chigali. I mark the gates of my city for revival. I secure them with fire. Katabro Sharadia. Zike Tikiri Bababaya. Shaka Tadakate Broko Shinia. Mark the year 2024 with fire. Put a mark in prayer. Mark yourself for with fire. Holy fire. That now evil, whatever touches you shall be consumed. Whatever touches you for evil, mark your blood with the fire of God. Don't sleep. Mark everything with fire. Call your firstborn. I mark my children in fire. I mark the ministry in fire. The angels will see the fire and the blood and come and take it and come and fire it and come and do the work of the Lord and execute the will of God and execute the purpose of God. I mark my body with the holy fire. I mark my children with the fire of God. Whoever will touch them will be touching that mark of fire. Katabroko Shiria. Now mark your daughter who has been captivity. Wherever they are, you are a mother, you are a father. You have authority to say, I put a mark of holy fire upon my son, upon my daughter. Because Jesus said, the Bible says that John baptized with water but when Jesus comes, he shall baptize them with fire. And that is the mark of fire when they bring accusation against you the lord will say the lord rebuke you Satan, because this man has been plucked from the fire he is, has a mark of fire has a smell of fire listen when you speak a mark of fire you will see what happened to the witchcraft it will all burn it's all bad. There is a witchcraft burning, even in the house. In the house, when you say, "I mark this house with the holy fire of God," see what is going to happen in this house. I mark this ministry with the holy fire of God. See how the witches, the devil worshippers, the agents of the devil, the satanists, are all being exposed, either saved or living, in the name of Jesus Christ. Because you say, "I mark the altar with the fire of God." I mark the altar. I mark the altar in the church. I mark the worship team. I mark the entry of the gate. I mark every seat in the church with the fire of God, with the holy fire. I put a mark of fire in the name of Jesus Christ, Son of the living God. I mark my door. I mark the gates of my business. I mark my bank account with the fire of God in the name of Jesus Christ, Son of the living God. I don't hear you, friends. 
mark everything in your life mark them there will be now healing no mental illness no depression no witchcraft no sorcery every evil eye now will be consumed by the fire that you're saying i mark my body i mark my city for revival i mark my city i mark my territory i mark the island i mark the whole island the island nation the whole of it now i mark it in this blood of jesus i mark it with the fire of god when they come to attack they find this fire burning and they cannot penetrate it they cannot penetrate the fire they cannot penetrate your fire they cannot penetrate my fire they cannot go through it because i'm marking it for fire oh Mark with fire, mark by fire, mark in fire, mark in fire, mark in fire, mark in the holy fire. Don't be quiet. Don't be quiet, my brother. You are going through a unique visitation. You are going through a unique visitation. You didn't know that the witch was next door. You didn't know that the sorceress was in the house. You didn't know that that was responsible for their for your delays, for the for your suffocation, for all the powers that have been sabotaging you. Now, when you mark yourself with fire, you see what happened. The power sabotage your life will flee, will burn to ashes, will burn to ashes. The prophets of Baal will be no more. The sabotager will be no more. The evil the seed will be known because of the mark of fire, because of the mark of holy fire. Come on, Latere Karabaria, Rikarababaria, Rika Zadabra, Rika Tabrukosia, Masadabaria, Rika Tadadia, Rindele Madia, Matadadia, Radadia, Rika Tabrukuria, Rico Shatada, Rakatada, Rico Tedidia, Zika Tadadia, Raka Tabrukosia, Makatadia, my mark the fire. They that are serving the living God in this city, the churches, the ministers, the apostles apostles, the bishops that are serving God, that have a heart after God, I mark them for fire, the fire of God, to mark them, Lord God Almighty, those prophets of God in this city, I mark them for fire, I mark them with fire, the prophets of God in the land, I mark them with fire, I mark them with fire, Shata de Karia, Rinde de Maria, Rakataria, Zikataria, Rakataria, Maselibaria, Rinde de Maria, Maraduko Shiria, Zakataria, Rakataria, Rikataria, Magari, they are waiting that man of God to fail and they laugh at the church. Now I mark the apostle. I mark him with fire. I mark him with fire. He will not backslide. He will not be caught in a scandal. I mark my. I mark the apostle. I mark the apostle and the prophet in Kampala. I mark him with fire. I mark with fire. My God, he will become stronger and stronger. Better and better. The parting fire. The parting fire on that ministry. The parting fire on that church of the apostle of that ministry. My God, my father, they are waiting to mock the church but today as an intercessor I mark him with fire I mark him with fire I will not celebrate his failure I will not hear the power accusing him but I mark him for fire I mark him for fire I mark him in fire I mark that apostle I mark that prophet I mark that woman of God that man of God who is serving the Lord my God my father I know the evil one he is strategizing he is strategizing has brought thousands around him and Lord, the church is not watching. They're not watching this man. He's not watching him. But today, in the name of Jesus, I mark him for fire. I mark him for fire, Father God. I'm not accusing him, but I'm interceding, King of Glory. I'll not be the accuser, I'll be the intercessor of the apostle, of the apostle and the prophet in the land. I mark them for fire. I mark him for fire, Lord God Almighty. I refuse accusation, the slandering tongues, cursing tongues, because it's the body. It's not him, Father God. Is the body and he's a man of influence he's a man that many follow and now i bring him before you and i mark him with fire to be perfected to be protected and his ministry may the grace upon his life continue and apply because of the holy fire come and pray mark their ministries in your city you may not be part of them but their body and what will happen to them will bring disgrace to the body of christ regardless of their regardless of what they do I want to mark the man of God. I want to mark the bishop. I want to mark the apostle. I want to mark the prophet in the city. Mark them with fire. Not to destroy them, but to, to change them. To protect them. To protect that ministry. To protect that church. To preserve and protect. Preserve and protect the apostle, Father God. I stand in the gap, King of Glory. To mark him, Lord. To mark him, Lord. To mark him, Lord. To mark them, Lord. 
Rikara babaya. Zadedidi. Shikata brodia. Masatadia. Rakateria. Ziketeria. Makataria. Riketeria. Friends, pray. Mark them with fire. What brings glory? What brings glory to the Lord? His failure of his preservation. What brings glory to the Lord? That church to fail or that church to continue to promise? What brings joy to the devil? What brings the joy? Why don't you now choose today? If that man confesses Jesus, but he has failures and weaknesses, why don't we mark him for fire and God perfects him to continue and continue and do the will of God and change him and transform him? And that's what I feel right now as an intercessor. Not to look at the man that is making mistakes, but to mark with fire. Go to perfect him. Lord, perfect that apostle. Perfect that prophet. Perfect him, Lord. If there has been a mix-up, if there has been an infiltration, if there has been pride, if there has been witchcraft, now let your fire come down and cleanse the rim. Cleanse his stream. Cleanse his stream, Father God. Let a cleansing fire come upon him and instead when the enemy thought that he's going to be destroyed, let him increase. Let him expand. Let him increase in repentance. Let him increase in prayer. Let him walk up right now. Father, I bring his ministry, his church, his call on him before you to be perfected and cleansed according to your will. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Son of the God, somebody mark the man of God with fire. Ask the Lord to mark him with fire. Ask God to open his eyes. Ask God is able to do exceedingly more than ask all imagine. Latter, don't give, don't surrender your warrior, your soldiers to the enemy. No, don't surrender your warriors. Don't surrender your fighters because of some mistake. Don't surrender them right now. Wherever they are, the men of God, the women of God, the apostles, the prophets, we mark them for fire. We mark those altars for fire. Lord God, where there have been defilement, we don't judge. We ask the fire to cleanse those altars in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Son of the God. Rakata, mark yourself. Mark yourself with fire. Mark yourself safe. Mark yourself in fire. Mark yourself in the holy fire. Mark your children in the holy fire. Mark your body in the holy fire. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Son of the Living God. Rakata Broshidia. Makata del Kiriba. Zikata. The fire that consumes evil passions. The fire that consumes lust. The fire that consumes, Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ. Even you pray. 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 Pray for the fire. Pray. Father, let your fire. Let your fire. Let your fire. Let your fire melt me. Melt me, melt me, melt me. Let your fire melt me. Take me deeper. Take me deeper. Take me deeper. I ask for depth. I ask for depth. Take me deeper, Lord. Melt me in your fire. Melt the self in your fire. Melt me, King of Glory. Melt my children in your fire. Let your fire melt us, Lord. Let your fire burn in us, King of Glory. Let your holy fire take us deeper. Take us deeper us deeper. Allow us in your glory not to give up, not to be weak, but going deeper and deeper in your fire. Our children, our dear ones, our marriages, our marriages, melt them in your fire. Melt them in your fire. Radika Shitaya. I mark my wife in your fire. I mark my prayer warriors, my partners, my partners, my ministers, my sons. I mark them in fire. I mark the daughters of Zion in fire. I mark my place of rest in fire. I I mark my partners in fire. I mark my associate past in fire. I mark life way in fire. In the holy fire of God. In the holy fire of God. I mark them in fire. I mark Joanna in fire. I mark Joanna in fire. I mark Maria in fire. I mark Nam in fire. I mark Vion in fire. I mark Vion in fire. In the mighty name of Jesus. I mark Sin in fire. I mark Yeshua in fire. I mark Dockers in fire. I mark England in fire. I mark Yuen in fire. I mark sing a pen fire. I mark them in fire. Holy fire, King of glory, is what I'm asking. In the mighty name of Jesus. Rakata Brukoshiria. Masata Dikeria. Rakata Dia. Rikete Brusia. Masata Dia. Rakata Brudia. Shikata Dia. Masata Dia. Rikana Mamadia. Maradu Sharaba. Rakata Dede Dede. Rikata Brukoshiria. Somebody as I pray. That fire is marking you and you are being cleansed and you are being cleansed. You are being purged. You are being purged. You are being cleansed. As I pray, as I pray, there's a fire 
burning right now because I mark you in the fire of God. I put a mark of fire. I put a mark of the holy fire of God. Evil cannot be in your body. Evil cannot be in your house. Evil cannot be in your body. In the mighty name of Jesus, I mark you for fire. I mark us. I mark the city. I mark the city. And the Rakata Pro. Rikaramadia. Zata Brukuria. Rikatadia. Rikuramamadia. Rakataria. Shakata Brukuria. Masatara. Prepare. Kateria. Take a stand. Rikete Brukuria. Put on your armor. For I mark you. I mark you, my daughter. I mark you, my partner. I mark you, covenant partners. I mark you, covenant sons. I mark you today. I mark you, my covenant sons. I mark you, my members. The members of God. The subscribers, Father. The followers, King of Glory. They that of God will hear this. I mark them in your fire to be holy, to be righteous, to walk in power, to understand your ways. Teach them your ways. Teach us your ways. Command our glory. The Lord of hosts. The Lord of hosts. The Lord of hosts. The Lord of hosts. The commander shall teach us to war. You train my finger for battles. You train my hand for to war. You train my hand to war. I scale a wall. I scale a wall. I scale a wall. Somebody I see. You are so shift. You are so faster. You are running. You are scaling mountains. You are going over hills. I see you like a gazelle running over. Rakatadia. Riko Shikaraba. Zataradia. Rikarababaya. Satabradia. Rikitamradia. Masadakaria. Kaprukoshidia. Ratidididia. Rikarama. Remember the sight and say, Lord, mark with fire and let my eyes be open. Mark my children, mark my son, hover over them, hover over them, incubate them, hover over them, move over them, move over them, wherever they are. Mark them for fire, even when they're on the streets, when they're in places that are compromising them. Lord God Almighty, mark them with fire. Let the angel of fire, let the chariots of fire surround my son, surround them where they are, surround them where they are, in the name of Jesus Christ. And mark them for holiness mark them for glory mark them for glory mark them for revival with the fire of god mark my children mark my pastor mark my sons mark my spouse mark uh, someone pray your future husband whatever he is to be marked with fire nothing will touch him your future wife mark them the wife of your son the, the wife of your son the husband of your wife your your daughter your daughter mark them with fire mark them with fire wherever they are to be pure to be holy to love the lord to bless the Lord to be preserved. Makata Bria, Rika de Maria, Zagataria, Rika Rabaria, Rika Tabrukuria, Shata Bradia, Mazakataria, Rada Cataria, Zika Tabrukuria, Masata Brada, Rata Tita, Shika Tabrukuria, Summer Nicola and say, Marked with fire, marked with fire, marked with fire. Say that word, sound that word, sign it, sign it on your name, sign it on your name on the comment, sign it on your name, send a message to Pastor James. I am marked with fire. I mark my son. I mark my house. I mark my bed. I mark my bed. I mark my business with fire. Katabrokuria. Preserve. 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 Shikatarikaria. Rikarabazia. Preserve. Preservation. 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 Come on, Mark. Rikarabaria. Zikatadia. Mandaradia. Rinderibusia. Zakatadia. Kapro Sharia. Kapro Sharia. Let them be marked. This you can before we go into the coming season. Let us be marked in fire. Let's be marked in fire. Let's be marked in fire. Our eyes, our feet, our hands, our souls, our spirits, our bodies marked in the holy fire of God. Marked in our cities, our intercessors, my prayer partners, all those that God has brought around me, they that have been in captivity, be marked for fire and they're coming up right now. They're coming up right now because of the fire. They're coming out of up and out, up and out, up and out, up and out. Kalodze, Kalodze, you are coming up and out, you are coming up and out, you are coming up, up, up out of the pit, up out of the pit, up out of the canvas, up out of the dungeon, up, Radididia, Ritididia, 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 Shatatitia, Shatatitia, Ritididia, Rikutabra, a huge shrine has just caught fire, a huge shrine is burned to ashes, where souls were trapped, I see a huge shrine, very huge. Many people are going to it, but it's burning. The earth, the fan of God has smitten a shrine. It's a huge building that has been a shrine where many souls were trapped. It's burning to ashes right now. It's burned to ashes right now. 
Roko shaka tade karia. Maradu ko shaka tabra. Rika tabra kata broko tabra. Rika tabro shata bradia. Rata tata tata tata. Shika tabro ko shibia. Keep praying, keep praying, keep praying, keep praying. Because whatever was done in your father's house to hinder your progress is catching fire now, burning to ashes. The altar in the father's house. The evil altar in the bloodline, the evil altar in the city, Salonic altars in Oka, the altar of the drug, the altar of the grave, the altar on the mountain, the satanic powers, the witchcraft powers that have caused poverty, the witchcraft that a friend brought in your house, burned to ashes because you are marked for fire, marked for fire. I see a son who has initiated into powers of darkness. Now, because of the fire, is coming out. Darkness cannot hold you. Demons cannot hold you. Sorcery cannot hold you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Son of the Living God, Reta Prosia, Masaka Tadia, Rikara Madia, Roko Tabrodia, Shatada Karia, Mark for fire. Mark for fire, mark for fire, mark for fire. Your gift is marked for fire. Your talent is marked with fire. Your calling, your finances, your blessing is marked with fire. No evil can infer, no pollution, no defilement, no abomination, no strange power, no stranger, no evil hand can touch you. No evil hand can touch you. No evil hand will ever touch our children. No evil hand will ever touch our businesses. No evil hand will ever touch our marriages. No evil hand will Will ever touch my body no evil hand will ever touch my blood for a mark with the holy fire the holy fire of god the holy fire of god the holy fire of god rededicata masada bra rikata brodia rikete brada rikedidia radadadia shada brodia rada brodia zagadagadia 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 rikedibaria masada baria zikata brodia rikata brokoria maradaradia 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 mara Daradia, Sarabaria, Rikeribaria, Maradakata, Shikata Brokoria, Sakatakata, Radiri, a lot is happening, a lot is happening, a lot is happening. You didn't know that something was in your ceiling, that something was in the ceiling of your house, but right now, as you're marked with fire, it's now uncomfortable. It's roaming, it's screaming, it's running away, it's running away. That which were hiding in your ceiling, hiding in your house, is running away, it's running away, it's running away, it's running away. Is running away something in the basement that 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 entity that being that come in the basement that being that come in your basement today the kabatara it cannot stand the fire it cannot stand the holy fire the being the being the gene the gene the mummy the mummy the serpent the puppet is burning to ashes cannot stand rickety captured by fire captured and burned to ashes captured burned to ashes satadi karia rikara babria masatadia masi kerebaria rikara babria rakata brukosia zata brudia masatatea la satatea la satatea la satatea you didn't know that there was a being that was standing mounting your life but now is crying is crying you're going through a cleansing you're going through a washing kata brukosia la tedi kerea that being that molested you that defiled you in your dreams now burned to ashes because you are marked by fire you are marked with fire whatever it ca- ta- comes to touch your body it shall burn it shall burn and consumed and consumed by the high elements of god's fire radika tabruka rika zarabaria rika ramaria jatabrodia Zagadagaria, Leba Satadia, Leba Satadia, Leba Sata, Latadadia, Latadadia, Ratadadia, Radididi, the whole altar, Matadia, marked with fire, the whole altar, my God, my Father, even the convocation camp, even the consecration camp, marked with fire, marked with fire, consecration camp, marked with fire, marked with fire. Everyone registered for the consecration camp, marked with fire. The ministers, the pastors, the delegates, the poor apostles, the teachers, they that are coming in the nations, their planes, their cars marked in fire, their bodies, their homes marked with the holy fire, their homes, their minds, their children, their finances marked in the holy fire, marked in the holy fire, preserved, protected in the cloud of fire, protected in the cloud of fire, preserved, preserved, preserved. The men, the women, the children in the convocation camp, I mark them to preserve, to bless, to preserve, to give, to take nations, to take cities, to take cities. Kata Brokodia, Rikarabaria, Masadabaria, Rikarabaria, Masadabara, Jacatadi, my father, my God, are you not a consuming fire? 
Are you not a consuming fire? Are you not a consuming fire? Are you not a consuming fire? Are you not a God who answers by fire? Are you not a God who answers by fire? Are you not seated in the fire? Did you not promise to baptize with fire? Better for today. That which concerns me, that which concerns this ministry, that which concerns everyone watching, mark it with your fire. Hade. Hade rikado sharada. Zikere de de yata. Masere baba ushiria. Why don't you pray for your mom? Why don't you pray for your dad? To be marked with fire. One more time. One more time. One more time. One more time. Lite didia. Holy fire. Rikarabania. Mandiridi. Zikatabro. Rikotabrosia. Masalabaria. Rakatedia. Ziketeria. Riketara. Zandarabaria. Masikata. Rikotabro. Zelebaba. Madaria. Rikerebaria. Shikatara. Zalabaria. Rikorababa. Masalabaria. Rakatara. Awakened. Awakened. Charged. Intelligence. By the fire of God. Awakened. Charged. By the fire of God. Awakened. Charged. Charged. To understand. Charged. Yeketeri. That fire that brings back that child from the realm of autism. That brings that boy from the realm of addiction. That capt that, that delivered him from the realm of addiction. There's a fire that is burning every power of addiction, every power of autism, every power of mental illness, every power of bipolar disorder, every power of schizophrenia. There's a fire that is burning it right now. Mark that daughter. Yes, mark her with fire and she'll be back. She'll be back to her senses. Mark that son. Mark that daughter. Mark her right now. Mark her right now. Mark that boy. Eight years, nine years, four years. Mark him now with a fire and you see Abaddon and Legion shall leave him he shall return. He shall return. Rikerebaria. Masarabaria. Maralukoshiri. Zakatare. Somebody who had a stroke. I mark you with fire. You are getting back your nerves. You are getting back your senses. You are getting back your heart to function 100%. Someone with a killing problem that has been at 25. Betty, I mark you with fire. I mark you with fire. I make you with fire. I mark you with fire. Be charged now with new organs. Rikerebaria. Masadika, Rikorabasia, Zakatadia, Maradokoshiria, Rakatana, Rikanamama, Makatana. People, there's healing now. There's a baptism. There is a fire. The enemy is blinded. He's confused. He cannot know what to do. He's arrested. He's arrested. He's arrested. The enemy is arrested. The enemy is arrested. The enemy is arrested. His demons, his powers. Death is arrested. The oak Death is arrested. Witchcraft is arrested. Sorcery is arrested. Poverty is arrested. Curses have no power. Curses have no power. Cursing tongues are arrested. Every tongue that will try to curse you shall burn to ashes. In the name of Jesus, lift your voice and pray. Rakatadikaria. Masadabra. Rikoshikataya. Masalabaria. Rikalabara. Roshania. Masili Karaba, Rakata Bruka, Rikele Baba, Zaladidia, Radididi. Today, the element of fire is at work in our midst. The elements of fire is at work in our midst. The elements of fire is at work in this altar. The element of fire marked children with holy fire. Mark marriages with fire. Mark marriages with fire. Mark marriages with holy fire. Mark marriages with holy fire. Rikarabaria. Zatabusa. Hey, hallelujah. The God Almighty. God Almighty. Even me. Melt me. Let your fire melt me. That I will remain humble. Let your fire fill me, Lord. Not to rest. Not be lazy. But keep calling your name. In the name of Jesus. Keep praying. Keep praying. Rikarabari. Masarabari. Zikarabari. Zikatara. Zatarabari. Rikarabari. Zikiti. Marco Talada, Loshiria, Hatereka, Hatidi Kerebosh, Zagadagadeha, Ula de Aladea, Ura de Adea Dea, Hadosha Dadi Kamade, Litando Shanade Alada Doshana, Halade Aladea, Rade de Dede now responda, Rade de Dede and Dadadea, Zarade Adana de Nadeda, Marado Shanade Ada. Hatara ta, ate kataya, hatara tea, zagata tea, ratara ta, rosha tetea, horititia, ho sharatada, zeketia, 
makataria masilika hushiridata hatereta matali tarusha sereta ta hushata teata hori karamadana de holy holy kata marado shatete ratetata rikatete matarata rotadetea masatete zateta taya rikarabate Yeshua Ratadosha, Son of God, Ratidididididi, your feet are like bronze banished to fire. Ridididi, the fourth man in the fantasy, the fourth man in the fire, a man of fire. Ridididiata, Ridididatada, Shata Brosa de Hate di Tanada, Hoshi Tidididia, Hoshalama de Hatala, do Shaladea, Ladera de Tana do Shalada, Marade de Tatara do Shaladea. Zada da da di 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 ya ha. Rika na mama di kete di ya ta. Rinde di kata ta te ha. Abata rasheta te ya. Coming back to their senses, the hostages are back home. The hostages are back home. They that were taken hostage, they that were trapped in pits, they that were trapped and blinded, are coming home right now. They that were exiled. Ministries that were stagnant, churches that could not grow, they are now back home, restored in the glory of God, restored in the power of God, restored in righteousness, restored in holiness. Set on fire, Karabadia. Four thousand altars, five thousand altars. Set them on fire. Everyone watching, become an altar of revival, become an altar of prosperity, become an altar of holiness. Yati di kadada. Rite di babada, nations be set on fire. Rati di 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 di. Ask God for the territory. Ask God for the territory. Ask God for a mountain. Say, Lord God Almighty, my mountain be marked with fire. My mountain of the media. My mountain of education. My mountain be marked in the holy fire of God. My God, mark my nation. Give me Uganda. Give me Africa. Give me Africa and the nations, King of Glory, and mark them with your fire. Rite di 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 di. La ta da da da. La to da da da. Keep me burning, keep me burning, keep me burning. Give me fire, give me oil, give me oil. Keep me burning, give me fire, keep me burning. Keep my children burning, let them burn for righteousness. Set them on fire, set them on fire to serve God, to serve God. Awaken their gifts, their intelligence, their abilities, because they know, they know you are God. Submit to you. Riteribosha, masaradia, radikataya. Sadaba hate ide zagada gada gadeka ragata gata gade rikata tata tea rikata tata tea shata tika tapruta rikata prute tea masata de kiria maratata tika shaka tapro kuria rikata pro kushiria sata de katabro shika tapro kuria masata pro rikata pro shiria masikataria rikata pro shiria masakataria rikara mamadia Shika tabro kusia, maseka tede hatado, rika na babadia, sata de kurabadia, rika na mamadia, sata bro kusiria, masaka tadia, raka tade kusiria, maseka tabro kuri, rete de kasara, raka tabro kusia, maseka tadia, rika tabro kusiria, masiri katadia. Let your glory, let your power, let your glory, your name be glorified. Your name be glorified. The name of the Lord is strong tower. The name of the Lord. The power of the Lord. The name of the Lord. I see the man in the fire. 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 I see. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Come and bless the Lord. Give praise. 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 In the name of Jesus. I see the man in fire. I see him shining. I see the light of the Lord in your eyes. I see the fire of God in your eyes. Burning. 
greatly in the name of Jesus. Burning greatly in the name of Jesus. Son of the living God. Rikarabashia. Masata Dikaria. Oh my God. Oh my God. Somebody. Do you see how the bar has turned? The bar has turned to the gates of the enemies. The war is going on through this night. Oh my Lord and God. Ask the Lord to fill you with more of his fire. Ask the Lord to fill you with more of his fire. In the name of Jesus. Tell the Lord more of your fire. More of your glory. More of your wisdom. There's something I want to ask. Ask for divine intelligence. Ask for divine intelligence. Ask for divine intelligence. Not of this world. But the intelligence that comes from fire. Ask for that power. In the name of Jesus. Ask for a baptism. A fire that attracts wealth. The fire that preserves wealth. The fire that preserves souls. The fire that awaken the fire of prayer. The fire of prayer coming down upon you. Oh my God, what a night. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In preparation, don't go away. In preparation for the next night, because I'm going to do a fair. There's something I want to share with you. There's something I want to release to you in the name of Jesus about spiritual warfare. Taking our possession. I'm going to share with you briefly as we conclude. Then I'll pray. Uh, spiritual warfare. Taking our possession. You know, when the Bible talks about in Obadiah, verse 15, verse 15, it talks about there shall be deliverance. And it talks about there shall be deliverance on Mount Zion. There shall be on Mount Zion there shall be deliverance. Verse 17. But in Mount Zion, in Mount Zion, Obadiah verse 17, but in Mount Zion, there shall be deliverance and it shall be holy and the house of Jacob shall possess their own possession it's okay but possess nations your possession let the nation be your possession possess them that they will never reject you but will always celebrate you my sons, my daughters shall possess nations in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. So, spiritual warfare is about possession. Is about what? Possession. Taking our possession. And this is the introduction that I will be talking about tomorrow. That there are two equal and opposite errors into which our race can fall about the devils. One is to disbelieve in their existence. The other is to believe and to feel an excessive and unhealthy interest in them. So they themselves are equally pleased by both errors. And hail a materialistic or a magician with the same delight. That's what C.S. C. Lewis said in the screen tape letters. Devils are all interested. If you become the magician, so the church, now this is very important, the church must see our cities, our communities and nations as they are, not as they appear. Your city as it is, is different from what it appears. Your nation, your village, your community has a spiritual side of it which you need to see. The spiritual Kampala is different from the physical Kampala. The spiritual London is different from the physical London. The spiritual New York is different in setup 
So you need to see the city how it is spiritually through the skill of spiritual mapping or spiritual spying. Now, you may not look at the physical things, but the Lord may begin, begin to reveal to you tunnels, highways, portals, high places, gates, priests, principalities, and marks of your territory, of your city. And these eight, when they are revealed to you, the Lord will give you a storage for every aspect of your sin, including your family. When you ask and say, Lord, show me my son, not, how, not, not as how he appears, but how he is in the spirit, you'll be surprised. He may be a three-year-old, though he's a 20-year-old. And the moment you see that, the Lord will give you a strategy to accelerate growth in the name of Jesus. So, Satan, now hear this, Satan delegates high-ranking demons and evil spirits to control nations, regions, cities, and tribes, and people groups, neighborhoods, and other significant social networks of human beings throughout the world. You heard that. He delegates high rank demons which must be dislodged. In certain direct in certain is more interested in territories than individuals. He will aggressively guard his territory because he understands victory over individuals is by controlling the territory. So who is controlling the territory? This is what I'm praying for you, my brother, my sister. You become a territorial authority. You become a territorial gatekeeper. You become a territorial intercessor. Don't ask for just one thing of your problem. Ask for a territory. How, what does it take to be a territorial intercessor? Okay? The demonic works in secrecy so that their works are not obvious. And many will ignore them until they have established strongholds. I'm giving this point to you, children. They work in secrecy so that their works are not obvious. Many will ignore them until they are up there. So sometimes you tell people about spiritual affair, about prayer, and they ignore them. Ah, it's just now. You're just over spiritual. Until the enemies establish a stronghold and taken our children and taken our spirit. Even in churches, sometimes they, you see the small things and you don't want it. So, praise the Lord. So, I want to talk to you right now on this issue. That the enemy, the king of darkness, works in secrecy. And he wants you to ignore him until he has built a strong hold. But it will not be the case. Tonight, we are not waiting for the stronghold. We are rooting out the materials he wants to use. In the name of Jesus. So, spirit directed prayers open the way for the blessing of the kingdom of God to come upon the earth with healing, deliverances, salvation, holiness, compassion for the poor and oppressed, and the fruit of the spirit. Those are the things God will use because you are praying. The major spirits to watch are the spirits of witchcraft, the spirit of death, especially where territorial warlocks operate. Keep binding and rebuking them by going to strategic places. Go to strategic places before the end of the year. Bind and rebuke territorial warlocks. Bind and rebuke in prayer. In the name of Jesus. Bind and build. Cover that territory with a prayer blanket. A chain of unceasing prayer altars. Let me ask something. A request. Look at me. Why don't you agree with a few people in the remaining hours of the year and you create a prayer chain? Why don't you call your church to you get 24 members of your church, 24 friends, and each one prays one hour 
until every day until the year ends and you create a chain why don't you in your home each one take an hour to pray until the prayer chain is there the moment you can break the 24 hour cycle of prayer your home will be liberated why don't you share why don't you ask the intercessor prayer warriors to join in prayer in your house for just 24 hours each one take an hour and that you break the cycle and cover the whole house and the whole church why don't you mobilize online a prayer a prayer chain in the coming few hours and set in motion a revival and also remember to serve notice of the coming of the kingdom of God to any evil powers that might have territorial influence by prophetic worship. So prophetic worship is a weapon that will serve notice to the powers of darkness in territories. And so preparation and consecration is important. Religion and any form of worship is not enough to hold back the powers of darkness. It takes a mighty move of the Spirit of God to hold back the flood of iniquity. And now, spiritual warfare. Doing spiritual warfare is nothing less than partnering. Okay. What stops the advancement of forces of darkness are strategic prayers and the holiness of God's people. There are two things. Strategic prayers Jesus. Mighty is the Lord who is doing mighty things in Jesus' name. We want to continue that today the Lord is wanting to learn that God, let's do, let me say this statement then I'll pray because I believe there's something I need to release today. That doing spiritual battle is nothing less than partnering with God in the triumph. So we are partnering with God. And effective deliverance in areas that have been powerfully taken by the devil can be achieved only through territorial battles by the church. And God, this is a prophetic word I heard, God is raising up a remnant over the earth, a glorious army of deep intercession and territorial fear a people of divine choice just as God chose David. So the Davids of our generation are rising. And I speak right now. Even if your son was rejected, even if your son is going through trouble, he has a David call 
and the sword of the Lord is in his hands. And I release him right now. I release your daughter, your son. I release someone right now to be among the remnants, deep intercession that are going to take over territories for God. In the mighty name of Jesus. May you receive territorial authority. The anointing over regions and territories. I say the anointing over regions and territories. Not just a congregation, but a region, a territory. The wealth of that region be released unto you. The, the power of God upon you in the mighty name of Jesus because of the warfare. And you are not going to just let the enemy have a party in the region. You're going to challenge him. You're going to raise intercessors. You're going to raise prayer and challenge. Don't sit in your house and complain. Take on. Take on. Call upon the carpenter of the Lord. Call upon the elements. Take on the enemy. Dislodge him from the region. Dislodge him from the region. And revival will come. In the name of Jesus Christ. We have assignments the coming few days. Some of us to walk around the territory. Some of us to drive around. Some of us to go to strategic places and speak the word of God. Others to go to the waters and speak the word of God. Before the year ends, you have a prophetic assignment. Before the year ends, in these hours, you have an assignment to stand places and speak the word of God and speak to the land and speak. You go and stand on that ground and speak. Go and stand on the waters, near the waters and speak. Go to the border, speak. Go to the station, go to the school. There's something God is convicting you to do as an act of declaring the coming of the kingdom of God as an intercessor, as a prayer warrior. Speak the fire of God. Go and stand on the gate of your father's house and proclaim the word of God. Go and stand and proclaim that Jesus is Lord. There is a, an, there's an assignment you have to do in the next 72 hours. In the name of Jesus. Before you come for solemn assembly, there's an assignment. There is an assignment. There is an assignment. I have an assignment. You have an assignment to put in motion. Because something we do in the physical in the name of the Lord is what the angels speak and execute the purposes of God. So there should be right now an act, an act, a prophetic act that you're going to do in the name of Jesus Christ and be marked with fire. Be marked with fire. Before you come, they will scatter in the name of Jesus. Before you come, they shall scatter in Jesus' name. Come on, give praise. We're going to pray right now. We're going to pray as we end this first night of spiritual affair. We're going to pray in the name of Jesus. Father, I pray that right now, let your people take over territories. Let there be a takeover. Someone proclaim a takeover. Yes. You will not be subdued but you take over. You know, when you are in warfare, you must have be intentional. My intention for this warfare is a takeover. To be. Tonight is a takeover. And I will not rest through the night. It's a takeover night. I'm taking over. The church must take over. The righteous must take over. When you take over, you shall rescue many children that are in captivity. In the name of Jesus. Someone say take over. Say it one more time. Say take over in the name of Jesus. Yes, take over. I don't know who I'm talking to. Maybe an, a, a, a business. And someone, the powers of darkness, the agents of darkness have been controlling it. And the Lord is saying, take over. Janet, take over. Albert, take over. It's a year of takeover. Take over a territory that has been ruled by a witch for many years. Take over a mountain. Take over that industry that have been controlled by satanists for many years take over the financial systems there's a takeover i'm telling you in the name of jesus there's a takeover of properties why don't we agree the four thousand of us watching and those that are watching and the pastor james right now i agree with you you know how do we agree we pray together how do we agree we release our offerings and i want always not to just give i want us to give with purpose so right now, I want to pray for you and with you this hour of warfare and declare, Pastor James, this little 
this much which the Lord has put upon me is my offering of takeover. I take over the real estate. I take over mountains. You know, prophetic words have power. They, what you decree and you execute. Let me agree with someone right now for a takeover. Maybe seven people, 70 people, or 700 people. And you're saying, look, Pastor James, I want to pray for a takeover of the territory. Your church will not be just congregation, a territorial church. A takeover for God. In the name of Jesus Christ, Son of the God. Valali Komwaka, thank Mitala. Let it be a takeover in the name of Jesus. Let this be a takeover in the name of Jesus. Let this be a takeover. May God, who is able to do it, Father, I pray for that ministry to take over. Just not only to take off, but also take over. It's like you possess a territory, it's like you have authority over it. And we are agreeing on the altar every night in the name of Jesus. Yes, this betrayal will take over and rescue captives. I see many coming to your ministry rescued by your prayer. I see thousands all over the world, millions. And they're saying, you delivered me. You helped me be free. Because on that night when you prayed for a takeover, I felt the Lord te telling me to go and possess that property, to go and possess that business because I'm taking over. Not for evil, but for the kingdom of God. For the glory of God. To excel it. There's an organization that has been stagnant. But God is saying, take over and turn it around for me. Turn it around to prosper. Father God, I agree with my brothers and sisters that we are this anointing to do warfare. We're not just fighting, but we are taking over. Politics, leadership, revivals, that your will will be done. Your name be glorified in the name of Jesus Christ. Nora, take over. That's your anointing. I agree with you in Jesus' name. Take over. The Lord bless. Kovia, take over. Solomon, take over. I mention your name before the Lord that you may take over. Wilbur, take over. Namato, take over. I agree with you in the name of Jesus. For this moment of takeover, it's a word that I've got tonight. That there is a takeover. The righteous, there's a change. Power is changing hands. The fav divine favor is yours. Divine favor, as you, you know. The plunder after battering, there must be a plunder. Hey, heaven has opened, my God. Rikata bro shiria, seka ja takeover. Sata bro koshiria. And I know the takeover, the Lord is convicting you and showing you what you need to do as an act of obedience over takeover. Over takeover. It's like the Lord has dropped something in your mind, say, agree with James on this altar for a takeover. You can take over that social media. And everyone will say, that man is an authority on social media. He has taken over the, the platform. Because it's not by mind or by power, but by obedience, by the spirit of the Lord. Be glorified, Jesus, as we take over. Be glorified that the kingdom of God, the children of God, the sons of God are taking over businesses. They are taking over territories. And they are turning around. They're turning around industries. They're turning around investments. They're turning around things because of the divine intelligence and supernatural wisdom that has been released. They are learning to battle for territories in the mighty name of Jesus. So shall it be. So shall it be. Yes, I agree with Philip. Take over. Genevieve, take over. Elizabeth, take over. Mercy, take over. Yes, Deborah, it's your will. It's your purpose. It's your, it's your portion. Martha is your portion in the name of Jesus. Yes, it's your portion. Jacqueline, it's your portion. That's your portion. Mildred, it's your portion. Take over. A measure of the Lord. Tonight is your portion. And bless your portion. Serve your portion in the name of Jesus. Loved by God. In the yes, it's portion. It's yours. It's yours. Let's agree and say it's mine. My portion is to take over. You know, you've been in that house, but you've never been an authority because your husband did not allow you because of the powers controlling him. But the year 2020 is changing. 
in the name of Jesus. And you're going to remain in that attitude of warfare. Not attacking a man, but dealing with powers that blocked him and blinded him. Because you had taken over. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, be glorified. Be magnified right now. Now we're going to do prayer. After our offerings. I know many of you are like waiting for for another time. But Father, will let us come before the Lord in the next few minutes of this night and seal the realm and seal the prophecy and pray a sealing prayer and seal it for eternity. Ask the books to be sealed until you open them yourself. In the name of Jesus. Ask the title to be sealed that no evil shall infiltrate. No evil shall reinforce. Father, I refuse reinforcement. Every satanic reinforcement shall not happen. Whatever the enemy is planned to reinforce his efforts, frustrate it in the name of Jesus. Frustrate the efforts to reinforce. The devils, the set, they will not gather again. Allow them no communication. We cut off their communication. We cut off their reinforcement. We cut off their supply of energy, their supply of power, their supply of weapons. We cut off the kingdom of darkness from supply. We disconnect them from their source of power. Where have they been having the power? Wherever they get their authority, wherever they get their reinforcement and support, we cut off, we block the path. I block every demonic pathways. I close satanic portals in the name of Jesus. I close demonic pathways, satanic portals, highways of Satan. I block them right now. Projection and satellites, communications of the evil, of the kingdom of darkness. I dismantle them right now. I fell them right now. Their gadgets, their monitoring, their systems, their codes fail in the name of Jesus Christ. Fail they that rob banks. Fail the hackers, spiritual hackers. Fail them right now. I fail the hackers. They that are hacking into my life, they that are hacking into my system. I fail them right now. Physical hackers. Yes, sir. cyber hackers. They that are hacking into systems to stop the work of God. I stop their activities. Disqualify their powers. They that hack to rob money, to rob destinies, to destroy lives. I stop their every cyber attack, every hacking of systems, every hacking of my spirit, soul, and body. I fail right now. Father, frustrate this matter. Whatever has been using, burn to ashes. Frustrate it now. I frustrate every power that want to hack in a system that is blessing me. Father, that frustrate, fail it in the name of Jesus. Lift your voice and pray against powers that infiltrate. Refuse, refuse reinforcement. You know, when Joshua broke Jericho, he refused reinforcement. He placed a curse and said, no one will ever build Jericho. So right now, stop reinforcement. They cannot rebuild again. It cannot rebuild again. Stop their source of income. Their source of increase. Whatever the enemy has been getting power, the demons, the curses, stop them right now. They will not reinforce to recapture your children. They will not follow you. Evil pursuers pursue us. In the name of Jesus Christ, crash into the wall of the Lord. Crash into the pillar of God. Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, lift your voice and pray. Katabrokoshiria. Makatabrokoshiria. Rikatarakaria. Shikatabria. Masatadia. Rikede Babaria. Maradu Koshikata. Zara de Katia. Rikete Brokoshi. In the name of Jesus Christ. 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 Yes. Refuse them never to return again. Refuse them. Refuse them not to renew. Refuse their reinforcement. Never be rebuilt. For many years, we secure the gates. We secure the gates of our finances. We secure the gates of earth. We secure the gate of, of the altar of God. We secure the gate of the church. We secure the gate of our borders. We secure the gate of our parliaments. We secure hospitals in our city. We secure every school and hospital. Even tonight, every child to be born tonight. We see the blood of Jesus. We secure every bath for this year. Every bath in the coming days. We secure it the blood of Jesus Christ. I secure every bath. I secure visions and dreams of as we go right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, Son of the Lord, lift your voice and pray and say, and say, Lord, I secure the blessing. I secure the bath. I secure the vision. The blood of Jesus, preserve and secure it. Katabro koshiria, marada katebro, zidabro koshikada, riketa rikada, rada pradia, shika tabrodia, masata rikere baba, roshi kalabaria, marado shikara. Now we're going to read one scripture. A scripture that ends this great night of warfare. I'm so excited, friend. 
what God is doing in our lives. What God is doing. I want to open your Bible with me to the book of Isaac. This it has a secure this this realm in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Son of the God. Open your Bible with me. Isaiah chapter 44, verse 1. Isaiah 44, 1. Let's open and read together. Verse 1. Isaiah 44, 1. In the name of Jesus Christ, Son of the God. Isaiah 44, 1. But now, hear, O Jacob, my servant, Israel, whom I have chosen. That says the Lord, who made you, who formed you from the womb and will help you. Fear not, O Jacob, my servant, Jeshurun, whom I have chosen, for I'll pour water on the thirst land and streams on the dry ground. I'll pour my spirit upon your offsprings and my blessings on your descendants. Stop there. Look at me. You look at me, everybody. Your daughter, your children, have been in, as hostages. But the word of the Lord is saying, the Lord is, I'll pour my spirit upon your offsprings and my blessings on your descendants. Can I have someone to agree with me for that word? Can I have a mother to agree with me on that word? You know, I always say agree with me because we are covenant people. Can you agree with me for your children that the word is saying, I'll pour my spirit upon your offsprings and my blessings on your descendants. I will pour, the Lord says, the spirit of the Lord upon my offsprings and the blessing of the Lord on my descendants. Someone say amen to me. I, agree with, I just need a man to agree with me on this and it shall be done. Offsprings and descendants, the spirit of the Lord and the blessing of the Lord. It's what we get tonight in this warfare night. The spirit of God upon our offsprings and a blessing on our descendants. They shall spring up among the grass like willow by flowing streams. I am, I am the Lord. Another will call on the name of Jacob. Another will call on the name of the name. And I believe that is what God is doing tonight. I want to agree with you for, ya, for everyone watching a parent that none of your child, no child will be lost. No child, your offspring will not be lost. Let me speak to you, my sister, my brother. Your child will not be lost. God is faithful. Your child will not be lost. Your son will not be lost. Your ministry will not be lost. I decree and declare upon you I speak it in the realm that your offsprings will serve the Lord because the Spirit of God rests upon them. As long as the Lord lives, as long as the Lord is good and great, your descendants shall carry the mark of the blessing of God. I bless your son. I bless your descendants. I bless you. I bless your city. I bless your nation. I bless your marriage. I bless your, your nation. In the name of Jesus. I speak right now. In the name of Jesus. I bless the works of your hands. I bless the works of your hands. I bless the works of your hands. I bless the fruit of your womb. I bless your journeys. I bless your ministry. I bless, your, I bless you with favor. I bless you with wisdom. I bless you with long life. I bless you in the name of Jesus. I bless you with prosperity. All the days of your life. I bless you with peace. I bless you with fruitful marriages. I bless you with godly marriages. I bless the people that surround you. 
I bless your partners. I bless your destiny partners. I bless you with the protection that comes from God. I bless you with supernatural wisdom. I bless you with the seven spirits of God. I bless you with excellency. I bless you with the spirit of revelation. I bless you with a great anointing that has never been before. I bless you right now. I bless you. And this blessing has reversed and removed any curse ever placed on you, all on your ancestors. In the name of Jesus. Any curse ever spoken by a man, a man of God, because of anger. Today I bless you to reverse that curse. To remove it in the name of Jesus. I remove the curse from your territory. I dissolve it. I dissolve it in the name of Jesus. The curse that was placed on your name. Now I bless you. An authority may have cursed. But now I'm an authority. I bless you. An authority may have been angered. Maybe in anger. But now because of the season of redemption. As a spiritual father. I bless you. I bless you as your father. I bless you as your intercessor. I bless you as your pastor. I bless you as your brother. I speak a blessing in the authority, in the apostolic authority of this commission. And now I undo the curse ever placed on your mother's womb. I undo the, uh, the curse and the consequences ever placed on your son in a school by a teacher. I bless you today. I bless you today. I declare and decree that your name has been removed from the curse and has been placed in the list of the blessing. I bless you with promotion. I bless you with intelligence. I bless you with favor. I bless you with perfection. I remove the speed of error from your life. I remove the speed of error from your body. I remove the speed of mistakes from error in your life. Now everything you do, I speak, I bless you with excellency. I bless you with perfection. I bless you with creativity. I bless you with life. I bless you with innovations. I bless you with the favor of God. I, I bless you today, for I have declared, as an authority in your life, I have removed the curse. I have removed the curse. Like how the man of God, Elisha, removed the curse from the water. So I receive, I receive the salt from your hand, and I bless your water. I remove the curse that has been on your finances. You have given your money, I receive it as salt, and I speak into your finances. I have healed the water in the name of Jesus Christ. The water is healed. Your finances are healed. Your soul is healed. Marriages are healed. Marriages have been healed. In the name of Jesus Christ. Just agree with me. And say, Pastor, that's my salt. Elisha said, bring me salt. And he poured it in the water. And said, that says the Lord. This water is healed. That says the Lord. Your life is healed. You are no, no cask. No. You are blessed. I bless you. I bless you. God has given you authority. Whoever I bless shall be blessed. Now I bless you. I bless you. Even if I may have spoken a word in your life that may have blocked you, I undo its power. And now I bless you. I bless your soul. I bless the works of your hands. I bless your ministry. I bless the call on your life. I establish the blessing of God upon you and your descendants, upon you and your spiritual offsprings. I bless you. I establish the blessing. I declare and decree that you are blessed. You are blessed. You are blessed. I establish you in the blessing of God. I establish you in the power of the blessing. I bless the works of your hand. I bless your summons. Every time you minister, the blessing shall be upon you. My voice shall be blessing you. Every time you preach, every time you pray, every time you stand to the will of God, you will hear the voice of the blessing. The, boy, the blessing shall push you to do the will of God. The blessing shall make you stand. Many shall be attracted to you because of the blessing of God. Many shall be drawn to you because I have blessed you. No one can curse you. Even when Jacob spoke a curse, Moses came and reversed it in the life of Lauben. So Lauben will live. You shall live. I come in their prophetic and I say you shall live. Your children shall live. Your marriage shall stand. Your business shall grow. Your ministry shall prosper. I declare and decree in this authority that you shall prosper. 
you shall make it you shall excel you shall live you shall be alive you shall build cities you shall build bridges you shall build great ministries you shall build great marriages you shall speak to your children now i speak to you as a father i speak to you as my child i speak to you as my partner i speak to you as my brother i speak to you in the authority that god has put upon me in the name of jesus christ you shall make it you shall build great ministries you shall build great ministries you shall touch nations you shall be as a, a man that touched that touched that, that touched generation you shall be a woman that spoke in a generation receive the blessing receive the blessing i said receive the blessing i said receive the blessing the lord has commanded me to bless i can't do otherwise i bless you in the name of jesus christ you're a nation you're a great lion you're a great lion. You roar. And many hear. You're a warrior. You're a lion who roars in the rain. You shall roar in the spirit. From today in prayer, angels shall respond promptly. I bless you with an open heaven. The heaven shall remain open everywhere you go. The heaven shall be open. The heaven shall be open. Every time you hear my voice in the realm of the spirit, you shall keep ascending. You shall keep growing. You shall keep increasing. You shall keep understanding. You shall, I will, uh, bless you. You shall ride on the wings I ride on. You shall ride on the wings that I am riding on in prayer. You shall ride on the grace I am riding on in prayer. I bless you today. I permit you to ride on wings. I permit you to ride on the wings of my intercession. I permit you to rise or to arise, to ascend on the wings of my prayer and prophetic covering and apostolic authority i bless you in the mighty name of jesus i declare the blessing i declare a blessing and no no hand can curse you no curse can ever land on your body because i bless you i bless you in the name of jesus christ son of the living god today i bless you i bless you i receive the soul to bless you i receive the offering to bless you i receive the seed to bless you i receive you in the name of jesus christ in the kingdom of god you are accepted the light of the lord shine upon you. bless i bless i bless i bless someone say thank you jesus someone say thank you jesus for blessing some, someone receive it right now and say, I receive. I receive the blessing of this night. I receive the blessing of breakthroughs. I receive the blessing to do many things. I receive the blessing in the name of Jesus Christ, Son of the God. I don't hear somebody say, I receive the blessing. I receive the blessing. I receive the blessing in the name of Jesus Christ, Son of the living God. I receive from you to declare the blessing in Jesus' name. I said, I receive from you and I declare the blessing in the name of Jesus. I receive from you and declare the blessing. I receive from you and declare the blessing. I receive from you and declare the blessing in the name of Jesus Christ, Son of the living God. Bless the Lord. I say bless the Lord. Come on, bless the Lord. Come on, bless the Lord. Because I receive from you and I speak a blessing as a man of God, as a woman of God as a leader, as a father, in Jesus' name. Yes, I receive from you and declare the blessing of God in Jesus' name. Don't forget that you need to possess, to, you need to take over. I've, I've, I've released a spiritual tool to you to take over territories, the blessing of an authority, the blessing of an authority. And I believe I am. I believe I am by the grace of God. And I speak right now. So you need to respond in your obedience. You need to respond how the Lord wants to respond. In the name of Jesus. God bless you. We worship the Lord for his mighty works. I've sealed you with a blessing. Now. Now. Don't forget this. The three announcements before we close. Number one. Don't forget to send your testimony. That someone will be encouraged. Don't forget to send a testimony. That someone will be encouraged. Don't please. Number two. We are ending our eight nights with a solemn assembly on Sunday 31st. From 8 a.m. Please. From 8 a.m. Are we together? It's PM. So it is 10 hours before the Lord. 
on Sunday. So we're going to be before the Lord throughout Sunday. We will not have the cross overnight. We will let you go into your houses and your homes. We will go before the Lord and wait. Because we have done the warfare. Tomorrow night or tonight, stand at midnight, is more warfare. Spiritual warfare in the heavenlies. How do you engage in the heavenlies? That's what we're going to be looking at. In the name of Jesus. Last but not least, our convocation, sorry, our consecration camp starts on 10th January. And we don't have any elect around till 10th January. Most of the delegates shall arrive on 8th and 9th because every delegate must have reported because it's a camp by 9th that on 10th we walk the journey. But also I want to make this announcement. We shall have a special needs workshop during the camp. A training for special needs children, special parents that have special needs children. I will conduct a workshop, a workshop for special needs. Those that want to be trained how to reverse these disorders in their children or in their ministries. Or someone, as a pastor, you want to learn this. There will be a workshop for special needs. And I'll be giving you training how to reverse it in a few days. So if you're coming for the convocation, your need is uh, special needs, children, even people with addictions and all this, there will be a workshop for that. And I pray that you will participate in that workshop in the name of Jesus Christ. We want to end here. Why are we in here? I'm giving you 10 minutes in your personal prayer because we end in 10 minutes from now. But I felt today we need to end here so that you can have 10 minutes alone with God to keep doing the work he's doing. Because I've been leading and I want you now to take over where you're leading. Because it's a takeover in the name of Jesus Christ. Father God, I pray as they pray the next 10 minutes of takeover, the anointing and the blessing and the fire shall be present. In Jesus' name, amen. Shalom and God bless you. Please don't stop praying until the next 9 minutes are over. God bless you. Thank you.